In addition, we introduced PDA Shore, a symbol of nourishment and growth, similar to these young competitors. PDA Shore aids in development by providing essential nutrients for their overall well-being. We understand that a healthy beginning is vital for a successful journey, and PDA Shore is here to contribute to that foundation. As we witness the talent and potential unfold on the track, let us not only applaud the victories, but also cherish the sportsmanship, resilience, and camaraderie displayed. NATSAP transcends mere competition. It offers these young athletes a platform to learn, grow, and inspire. Let us keep off the, the games, let, us, let aspirations soar, and let PD Light and PD Shore be the companions in every race, jump, and throw. Together, we nurture champions, fostering a generation that embodies the principles of athleticism and well-being. Well -being. Thank you, and may this championship demonstrate the limitless possibilities that await these extraordinary young athletes. Thank you. Thank you. Round of applause for Ms. Shari Kamabach. Marketing Assistant of Pharmacy Sales Caribbean Inc. And they are today's sponsors. Give it up for our sponsors. Round of applause for our sponsors. Remember, without sponsorship, this would not be possible. At this time, I'm going to invite one of the young ones you came to see. Her name is Kaya Warner Franklin, and she represents Trinity Academy. She is now going to come and deliver the athlete's oath. Good, mor good morning, everyone. In the name of all competitors, I promise that we shall take part in the 2024 National Primary Schools Athletics Championship, respecting and abiding by the rules which govern them in the true spirit of sportsmanship for the glory of sport and the honor of all teams. Thank you. Round of applause for Kaya Warner Franklin. So you had the athletes off. At this time, you're going to have the officials off. Teacher at Lutherthorne Memorial, Miss Tahira Morris. In the name of all the judges, and impartiality, respecting and abiding by the rules which govern them, in the true spirit of sportsmanship, for the glory of sport and the honor of all teams. Thank you, Ms. Morris. Now, at this time, you know that the, no that the zones are named after icons. And we have one of the icons here with us, Mr. Anton Norris. I'm now going to invite him to give you some brief remarks. Thank you, Master Ceremonies. Good morning, everyone. This is Althea Belgruth, chairman of NATSAC, specially invited guests, athletes, ladies and gentlemen. It gives me great pleasure to gather with you once more to enjoy a day of competitive sports. Each year, this event brings back memories of my own youthful days when I too experienced the same butterflies and anxieties in my stomach that many of you go through on sports day. The schools are the same, but
but beating in each young athlete's heart is an urge to excel, to reap the rewards of weeks, if not months, of preparing for this day, to raise the name of his or her school to new heights, to be in the finals on April 3rd. Reynold Weeks and All Saints were the champions in this zone in 2023. Who will be victorious this year? Will it be a repeat of these two schools? Or will they be toppled? Natari Levine of Turner's Hall Primary was outstanding last year, smashing the sprint record in his class. Like him, I suppose, many of you will aim to put your names in the record books as well. But he would have probably told you that it is not easy. It comes first with love and dedication to the sport, a willingness to listen to instructions, to take time to train hard, and to improve at every opportunity. You need to have a mission to succeed, to be better than the average. Only then will come the reward, the personal satisfaction and recognition for your sweat. And yes, sometimes tears. That makes you, in the end, a better and more rounded person, capable of competing among the very best. Now, I'm sure that you've heard these words from time to time, put together in different ways perhaps, but with the same intention. That is to motivate you to believe in yourselves and aim to do better, not only in sports, but as you prepare for life in your country and in the wedded world. I hope that you will take these few remarks to heart and I wish you all a very pleasant and enjoyable day of sports. Thank you. Once again, round of applause for Mr. Anton Norris, former Barbados athlete. This is what it is all about. At this time, as you know, there are two zones competing today. I'm going to invite everyone to stand and we're going to stand quietly as we observe a moment of silence for Marcia Trotman, one of the icons for today's competition. Thank you very much. You may be seated. At this time, I'm going to welcome Mr. Norris forward once again to give that sound to declare today's competition officially open. Thank you. It's now my great pleasure to declare these championships open. Round of applause, Usain Bolt Complex. Are we ready for competition? Once again, we are thank you for being here so early. We are getting ready for the first event, the Open Girls 600 meters. Is anyone ready to see some races today? All the best to all the teams. Have a great day, everyone. Thank you.
Okay. So we're ready for a day of action on the track. Only one field event being contested today. That's the Open Girls and Boys High Jump. So my question to you is, are you ready? Are you ready? Somebody just say no. A very pleasant good morning to our viewers and we welcome you to day two of the action at the Chefet Frosties 2024 National Primary Schools Athletic Championships. I am Captain Michael Jules and joining me this morning is Mr. Neil Gill who will be bringing some of the action. Um, Neil, two zones competing for the very first time um, and this will not be a norm. Um, we, we told viewers yesterday because of, the, because of the peculiar situation this year mm -hmm. that um, we will have two zones competing per day. So I will be bringing all the action from the PD Light Marcia Trotman zone and you will be looking after which zone? I'll be looking at the Pedia Shore Anton Norris zone. Um, and, and you know, like yesterday's performances, the, um, the, the atmosphere was very, very charged. And I believe that with the schools um, here today, it will also be a very, very electric of environment course. today. And, and again, to all viewers, please note that another change for the 600 and the 800 meter events the top 12 from all of the zones will be advancing to the final. A little tough, Neil, on the athletes. Yeah, very much so. No semi-final stage. Straight. So it's just straight, straight to the, the final. <laughs> In the other events, we have the, the high jump. The same thing will pertain, and we'll see that high jump um, competition today as well. For all the other events, we will have the top eight advancing. So that's going to be really tough to get the top eight from all eight zones. Um, and we must indicate to viewers that because an athlete wins their yes. section mm -hmm. does not mean that they will end up going to the final. That's definitely. And Michael, we also need to let our viewers know that um, the only field event which is being um, done at the zones will be the high jump. Yes, because we had... NAPSA had its own field event. Yes. Um, we had to do that again because of the lack of the facility mm -hmm. being ready. Um, and we will give our viewers the, the scores from those field events coming into today's final. So we're going to bear that in mind. Um, so we have the starting lineup for the first of two, the girls' 600 meters. Um, and this will be action in the Pedialyte Marcia Trotman zone. And on the line from Beyond the Box Education, Nes Quesada. That's competitor 7601 there. We also have from Trinity Academy, Nakia Amid from the Elliott Belgrave Primary, Sharia Bruce from Sela Primary, Kayla DePisa. 
And they are off and running. Two girls from the Lions. I think they will have to call that race back. They should. The rule of track and field is if a competitor falls within the first 50, 50 meters, meters, that they should call the race back. However, um, that was not the case here. Um, but <laughs> they are going. So we have two competitors from St. George Primary, the Lions, Kyla Holder, Soraya Herewood. Uh, and we're going to try and pick up um, that leader. In here we have Charles F. Broom. And that looks like the traditional uniform of Charles F. Broom right there in the lead. So this is the first of two sections for the girls in the 600 meters. And one of the Lions now moving up into second position. So early days for these young ladies heading down the back stretch now, just about halfway. Seven eight one seven. We'll tell you who that competitor is shortly. But we know she's from Charles F. Broom. So um, Neil, we know that Charles F. Broom is a traditional powerhouse at, at the knapsack. Yes, and um, you know they they're also being followed here now by the team, the young lady from um, the St. George Lions. Um, but but Charles F. Broom, and then there goes the other young lady here. No, um, it looks like from the Lions. Yes, um, two St. George athletes in this one. Mm -hmm. And again, we must impress upon everyone that it's about times. Um, placings will not matter at all at this edition of NAPSA. It's all about the times. So here we go with one of the Lions. So St. George making a statement from early. Gonna try and get you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> cameraman. <laughs> a little off there. So that's one of the St. George Lions. Kyla, Kyla Holder. Holder mm -hmm. Finishing in first position. Um, one of the Charles F. Brooms young ladies. And then Vox of Bay Primary finishing up there in third position. The other lion, Harewood, Soraya Harewood finishing as well. So a good start for the Lions and the zone record 20296 and that was established last year by another lion <laughs> Talia Selman so the girls open 600 meters that's the first of two sections um, and just to remind you of the schools participating Elliot Belgrave and this is in the Pedialyte Marcia Trotman zone Elliot Belgrave St. Mary's St. George St. Patrick's Roman Catholic, Charles F. Broom, Sela, Trinity Academy, St. James Primary, St. Margaret's Primary, Bay Primary, and Beyond the Box Education. So we're seeing here uh, three private schools in, in the Marcia Trotman zone. You know, that's always good, um, Michael, when we, we have the, the private schools entering into Knapsack, and I love that. Um, it gives everybody the opportunity, you know, and I, and I think that is very, very, very good. Um, augurs well for the competition. Of course, and yesterday we saw the light primary yes. school. They, they did pretty well. Very there was lovely. a young lady yeah. from the school who was quite impressive. Very. Um, so here we go with the second section, Azaria McConney from St. Mary's Primary. She's there on the inside with that. Um, maroon outfit, white stripe next to her from Charles F. Broom, Kea Moore Nanton Mayat from St. James Primary, Hannah Cumberbatch, um, Lou Quesada from Beyond the Box. I think we just had her sister running oh, yeah. um, from Bay Primary, Shantia Straker Eiffel, Cyan Jordan of Elliot Belgrave in that green and yellow outfit, Aria Ali from Sela Primary. From Beyond the Box Education, Maya Kiel, Zakaya Haynes from St. James Primary, from Trinity Academy, Kalina Goring, from the St. George Lions, Serena Hope, and on the outside, Malika Milong of Bay Primary. So that's the lineup for the second section of the girls 600 meters, and they are off and running. Going out pretty 
quickly there, one of the athletes from St. James Primary. And, and Neil, yeah. I think, you know, it's kind of difficult um, for these youngsters running the six and the eight be, um, if they're not coached well and they don't understand um, the strategy involved. You find a lot of times they just they just run out. Run out. And, and here we have the young lady <laughs> here, uh, also from, um, I think she's from Elliot Belgrade, I think. She's running in the lane. Exactly. And we know that with this race, everyone should, from the start, go right into lane number into lane one. one. Yeah, sure. So here we go. The race is off and running. I'm going to try and capture who's our leader. Um, I'm thinking that's Bay Primary. I, I, um, it looks like they... Um, the young lady. Yeah, so there are two from the same school there in that mm -hmm. outfit. Mm -hmm. um, Shatania Straker Eiffel and Malika Milan. So heading down the back stretch now for the final time, 7556. Yeah, so that's Straker Eiffel of Bear Primary. And in second is Nanton Mayap of Charles F. Broom. So coming around the turn, this young lady not using her arms very much. Um, and maybe into the straightaway, then we will see the arms pumping. But she's just a very strong young lady. Her stride is, is not a very long stride, but she is she's re, she's, she's keeping her composure, um, taking a look there just to make sure that no one else is coming. Um, and she's just going to should glide here, um, young lady from St. George. That's Serena Hope with a final burst, nice strong kick. Using the arms, fighting to reach Straker Eiffel of Bay Primary, but Straker Eiffel holds on, quite relaxed. <laughs> she, <laughs> she ran that last 200 meters, so very relaxed. Very, very relaxed. Yes, but remember, it's all about time. Can't help but, but say that time is going to matter in this equation. So the Marcia Trotman zone is done and dusted as we get ready. Um, for your turn um, with the Anton Norris zone. Yes, it is the Pediasure Anton Norris zone. And um, we're going to see our athletes. And we have the schools. That's the, the schools in the zone. We have a defending boys champion in Reynolds Weeks Primary. Cuthbert Moore Primary, Hillaby Turner's Hall, Welch's Primary, All Saints Primary, St. Joseph Primary, Grantley Prescott Memorial Primary, Arthur Smith Primary, Deacon's Primary, and Erdiston Special School. And they're the schools participating in the PDA Shore Anton Norris Zone. As this young lady will, she's coming in. Um, Elliot Belgrave, that's yes. the school. And she's, you know, and I love to see when. Um, they, 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 they're looking to finish the races, you know, not giving up. And that oh, is yes. one of the things that we... we and we and, and it's, about, it's about building character. Definitely. Yes, because, you know, she might have said, look, I had enough of this, I'm way down the field, mm -hmm. I'm done. But she made it. She yeah, ran the end. entire distance and kudos to her. Um, some might inspire some of the others. <laughs> Definitely. And on the track we have now, um, this is the first of the two time finals. Um, in, uh, we have athlete representing All Saints Primary, Naria Ward. From St. Joseph Primary, Sharia Ennis. Ren Renault Weeks Primary, Shania Burgess. Also, we are in the lineup from Hillaby Turner's Hall Primary, Kalia Boyce. Welch's Primary, Shayla Medford. And we have here from the Cuthbert Moore Primary, that is Symphony Goddard Grant. Representing Arthur Smith Primary, Shanae Edwards. From Grantley Prescott Memorial is Janelle John. Also representing Grantley Prescott Memorial is Nikaela Barrow. Um, from Welch's Primary, we have the, I think we have a, a, a little thing here. Mm. Doesn't it's appear that that second it's athlete it's from Welch's is there. Primary is not there. Mm -hmm. yeah, but, um, from Hillaby Turner's Hall, we have Azalea Derrick. And from Deacon's Primary, we have Khalifa Gill. 
and she is carrying the 12 badge there for her on her right leg. So, yes, those are the hip numbers. The hip Obviously, numbers. we don't have a lane 12. Yeah. But um, <laughs> those, those hip numbers, um, they serve their purpose because the... They indicate the position that the runners are lined up. So you see position 1 through to 12. In this mm -hmm. case, we expected 12 runners to start. So we, are we only have 10, 10 of the 12 runners. Mm -hmm. So when we get to the finish line and we are looking at the results, once that hit number remains in place, then, then we know who that runner was. Yes, and they're off to a nice even break. Um, we can see these are the... Remember, ladies and gentlemen, this is a, a, a very good, for these young ladies, for some of them, it's a grueling event. Um, but um, we can see, it looks like Shariah Ennis of St. Joseph Primary, she's our friend. Athlete 7454, Shariah Ennis. But she has on her, just on her outside, the two young ladies from Hillaby Turner's Hall Primary. Um, and they're running quite strongly at this moment. As they go with just about 400 meters left. And quite comfortably, the Hillaby Turner's Hall young ladies, they are Kalia Boyce and Azalea Derrick. And they've gone on just about 300 meters to go. Shariah Ennis of St. Joseph Primary, she's still there. And they now begin their journey down the back stretch. And just the... They have the crowd really involved here, athlete 7324, and that is Azalea Derrick of Hillaby Turner's Hall. She's in front. She has 200 meters to go. Her colleague and class, her schoolmate, Kalia Boyce, is trying to make a 1-2, but now overtaking her and coming with a run. Let's see the... So the other athlete there now with just about a hundred meters to go and it is still Azalea Derrick of Hillaby Turner's Hall and I'm sure they're jumping up in Hillaby we want to secure this but here's this other young lady now she's putting in a, a big effort athlete 7093 oh, here she comes will she be able to catch her that is Shania Edwards of Arthur Smith not being able to catch her. Arthur Smith runs second, but is a first. <laughs> she had some time still to, to wave to the crowd. That is um, Shania Edwards. But um, there's no doubt about the winner. Azalea Derrick of Hillaby Turner's Hall. Second was Shania Edwards of Arthur Smith. And third, Kalia Boyce from Hillaby Turner's Hall. So Hillaby Turner's Hall picking up some valuable points here. I'm um, going in now um, to the, the championship. They were very well. Yes. And she is finishing up here. It's well done there to the young lady there from Cuthbert Moore. So we're moving on now to the second of the second of the two time finals. And we have here <laughs> uh, athletes on the track. Alright, so we have Athlete 7093 from All Saints Primary, Nakia Kadugan. Representing St. Joseph Primary is Zakaya Nelson from Reynolds Weeks, Glory Fraser. And then we have from Arthur Smith Primary, Janae Belgrave. From Cuthbert Moore Primary, Jalisa Reed. Also representing St. Joseph Primary, Primary is Donica Bradshaw. From All Saints Primary, Asha Sobers. And from Hillaby Turner's Hall, Chelsea Watson. From Grantley Prescott, it is Rikisha. The Reese Branker. And rounding out the field from Welch's Primary is Michaela Bell as they've gone off to a good start. St. Joseph's Primary 
Looks like she's taken the lead early. That's Donika Bradshaw from St. Joseph Primary. She's running. And it, it, for these for some of these athletes, they're just running on raw talent. Um, you can see them with this swinging their heads and so on. Um, so they're not really running with any form. But it looks like the two St. Joseph athletes, um, they are uh, up front. That is Donika Bradshaw and Zakaya Nelson. Now coming into the picture, athlete 7030 from All Saints Primary, Nakia Kadugan. And looks like the St. Joseph athletes have backed out in the early exchanges now as they begin the journey down the back stretch and it's a very 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 comfortable looking here athlete 7084 that is Janae Belgrave of Arthur Smith now she's looking um, is that she's using some form and technique she's using her arms well pumping them and she's running just about 150 odd meters to go she's really distanced herself from the others and this is where the form will take her in and uh, she's breathing well you can see that she has done some training and um, just not based on raw talent and she's running very 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 strongly here this is Janae Belgrave of Arthur Smith primary she's going to absolutely annihilate this this field here she's winning this one quite comfortably in the end just about by about 70 meters and she, she still looks as though she can run a bit more and she won that quite easily the athlete now coming into the picture that is Nakia Cadogan of All Saints and a late surge there from one of the young ladies there from Grantley Prescott Memorial that looks like Rikisha Boyce who finished in the top three. So that completes the 600 meters open for the young ladies in the Anton Norris zone. The, and the PDS Shore Anton Norris zone. We just have to give kudos to the, the sponsors and um, we must do that um, in our commentaries for sure. Wait, wait, Michael, wait. How, you do, how are you looking or what are you thinking wait. so far about these performances? Well, um, first of all, yes, we have to make sure that we acknowledge the sponsors. Can't leave them out at all. Um, integral to the success of, of any sporting event. Um, the sponsors play such a critical role. Um, there are so many things that are needed when it comes to sporting events. Um, and without the sponsors, I mean, if you look around the stadium, you can see all the tents. Um, you're just watching a replay. Mm -hmm. um, for those who might be now joining us, that's just a replay of the second section in the PDA Shore Anton Norris zone for the girls and those girls went 600 meters so Neil I was saying you know when you look around the stadium and you see all the different tents um, we need to have tentage for the athletes athletes need shade they need to be protected from that thing up there in the sky um, <laughs> And it's so very warm. It's a very um, warm day. Oh yes. Um, we also have to look at things like um, refreshments, rehydrants, etc. Trophies, medals, you name it. Yeah. Lots of things come into play when it comes to sporting events. So here we have the lineup for the first of two time finals. We are back to the Pedia Light Marcia Trotman zone. So just so you can stay with us, we will be going back and forth. Um, with the PDA like Marcia Trotman zone, you'll get two sections for the boys, in this case the 800 meters, and then Neil, of course, you will take the two sections of the PDA Shore Anton Norris. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, so our lineup here for this first one, Beyond the Box Education, they'll be represented by Pepin Van Ettinger, and he's there on the inside, the taller of the two from Beyond the Box, his teammate. Um, be interesting to find out about that family. Um, Renico Johnson of St. George Primary. He's second in line. Next to him from St. James Primary in the blue top. That's Tanaz Deshang. 
Joshua Paris will be representing Charles F. Broom in that traditional red top and blue bottom. Next to him from Elliot Belgrave, Kimario Hardin, and from St. James Primary, Omari Richards. Representing Bay Primary, they are wearing green tops and blue bottoms this year. Daquan Flats, Zaire Bess Watkins of St. Mary's Primary in that maroon and white outfit. Uh, Kailani Griffith of the Elliott Belgrave Primary. And then from Trinity Academy, Ryan Brathwaite. <laughs> what a name. <laughs> Ryan Brathwaite. So he now becomes the fifth Ryan Brathwaite that I know. <laughs> yes. So um, there's a Ryan Brathwaite, of course, who this track is named after. Um, so here we are seeing um, a case of what I was talking yes. about earlier. Mm -hmm. Obviously, these guys either are too nervous, mm -hmm. um, too excited, uh, or they weren't taught that there's a scratch start and a standing start for the 800 meters. There they go again. Yeah. <laughs> so these are things that I think, you know, maybe some time has to be spent in educating the athletes, those who come here to compete. It's all developmental. Uh, of course. Sela Primary, they have Orin Dodson as well. Um, he's out there on the, the outside. I see a number 13. I don't see it on our, on our <laughs> yeah, list here, yes, but yes. He's, he has a 13 on. Um, the two lads from Beyond the Box Education, um, and these guys are out really fast for an 800 meter start. Yeah, that's, that's hmm. it. <laughs> things things are gonna slow right down though. Trust me. Oh, uh, it's, so that's Orin Dodson. It looks like seven nine five seven. Oh, no, no, he's four seven. Yeah. So as I said, there's no number no, 13, thirteen on our list, but yeah. we're seeing a thirteen. Yeah. But going into the lead now is Van Ettinger of Beyond the Box Education. And now moving up into second, Joshua Paris of Charles F. Broom. So those are top two as they round the turn, coming into the straightaway for the first time. The first section of the boys open 800 meters. The zone record, 2 minutes 45.86. And this was set by Devontae Green of the St. George Lions last year. So coming up the straightaway, 7828, that's Omari Richards of St. James Primary. He's now moved into third position. Joshua Paris of Charles F. Broom still in second. And our leader still Pepin Van Ettinger of Beyond the Box Education. So those are top three now looking to move up here from St. Mary's Zaire Bess Watkins. And he has passed all these guys moving into the lead now. That's Bess Watkins of St. Mary's. And he's really trying to open a gap on the field here as he heads down the back stretch. Seems like he has a plan. Yeah, yeah, that's, yes. that, that looks very strategic. Yes, there, that, that move. A very strategic <laughs> move. Pass yeah. them and go, and go open a gap, relax a bit, and then hopefully we can see him picking up the pace again. I'm seeing there lingering. 7771. That's Renico Johnson of the St. George Lions. He's um, moving up quite steadily now into third position we still have joshua paris of charles f broom in there so i think we're gonna see a sprint to the finish between these guys here comes joshua paris now taking charge uh the lion looking like he wants to roar here renico johnson of st george primary there he goes and the battle is on between Johnson of St. George, Paris of Charles F. Broom. Mm, but it definitely looks like Joshua Paris of Charles F. Broom. He looking as though he has it. Yes, he has it sewn up. Very good run there with these two young men. And coming up into third position. That's Bess Watkins of St. Mary's Primary. Yeah. Good effort from him. Here comes Van Ettinger of Beyond the Box Education. And I think this is his first time competing at NAPSA. A pretty good start for him. Yeah. Um, and, and it's great effort. And also we saw Matis Caseda. Yes. Uh, also beyond the box education. And they they put in that they put in a huge effort. And this young man here running in the middle of the track. And uh, Yes. Uh, I I we we really need to find out where where Okay, he's from Sela Primary. Liam Narkis from Sela Primary. Yes. 
So again, um, you know, although we say it's a developmental meet, and I, I believe that the coaches, the PE teachers still have some responsibility to teach the basics. Well, I agree with you, but you know, some, for, for most of these athletes, this is the first time they're running on a track. Um, as opposed to running on the field at, at, at school. You know, they might just be accustomed to running on a, little, on a 200 meter track, um, grass, a pasture really, um, and not having the opportunity to run um, at, at, at this level. Well, I, well, what I will say to that, Neil, is if I were a PE teacher at a primary school, I would make every effort to get my athletes down here at Usain Bolt. Uh -huh. That's what I would do. Yeah, and, and, and <laughs> I, I would understand make that. every effort. I understand that. And, <laughs> and here, you know, where it, it, it comes, and I mean, I, I really don't want to get into the politics of it, but it, it is extremely difficult, um, Michael, when to, to get some of our athletes from our schools to the to, to place like the, the Usain Bolt complex. I mean, for example, I, I am at a rural school, mm -hmm. and to get here, then... Um, it is it is very challenging, and I'm not going to get into it at the moment, um, as we have some athletes yes, on yes, the line. That, that's a discussion that that we'll have probably um, after the meet. <laughs> <laughs> but as you brought it up, I, I, I chipped in on that. Yes, one. no, but but seriously. So we are off. Gonna give you those um, names. They're off and running. Marshall of Trinity Academy, Isaiah Holder of Elliot Belgrave, from St. James Primary. Rainico Brathwaite, Cairo Watson of Charles F. Broom from Bear Primary, Keyshawn Atkins, and the other lad from Bear Primary, Zolani Clark. And those are the two who are making up the early running here. The two Lions from St. George Primary, Raphne Lovell and Wajay Topping. Julian Canfey of Beyond the Box, he's in there as well. I actually don't see him. In the race, so seven five six five our current leader. That's Keyshawn Atkins of Bay Primary, and his teammate in second position. That's Zolani Clark. So Atkins and Clark in charge, Bay Primary. He looks quite comfortable, Mike. He, he, he looks. He's, 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 very very oh, yes. very easy yes yeah, so we're gonna see some teamwork here we have two from bear primary yeah. and two lions and the lions look as though they have a plan let's stick together and we're gonna take them down take down those bear primary lads one by one and you see um he's bringing along his teammate lovell and topping those two for the lions now moving up but try quite steadily here mm -hmm. and still going is atkins of bear primary as they head down the back stretch, oh. seeing someone trying to, to, to change things up here, right? Nico Brathwaite of St. James Primary. Um, he's now moving up into second position and challenging the leader. Just and he is now past the leader. So Atkins is now relegated to second position as we have a new leader, right? Nico Brathwaite of St. James Primary. So here he goes, heading down the back stretch, approaching the 200 meter mark. 200 to go for Brathwaite. In second position, Keyshawn Atkins of Bay Primary and Lovell and Topping of St. George Primary, picking up third and fourth positions. Just a little glance over there from Brathwaite to see where the opposition is going to come from. 771, 774. That's Lovell of St. George Primary. Now, here we go. Lovell put his foot down, said enough is enough. Let's get to the finish line. So that's Raphne Lovell of the St. George Primary Lions on his way to victory here. And he will take the second section. Second place will go to Keyshawn Atkins of Bear Primary, third going to Rainico Brathwaite of St. James Primary. So that's our top three. Done and dusted, 800 meters, boys. And uh, Michael, uh, there's a, a battle brewing here, tussling shoulder to shoulder. Hey. Looks like see, the young man there from Charles F. Broom. Um, running through as well so we yes. we're moving on now to the pediasure anton norris zone 
800 yes. meters. That's that's your people coming up. Coming up here. Yeah. <laughs> um, and before they go on the line, um, we can quickly tell you coming into the Pedialyte Marcia Trotman zone, the Charles F. Broom girls and boys come in leading. In the girls, they have 102 points. Charles F. Broom boys, 84 points. Sela Primary, second in the girls, 61. St. George Primary, second in the girls, in the boys, sorry, on 67. And third in the girls, St. James Primary, on 48. Third in the boys, Sela Primary, 59 points. Yes, and um, now we have on the line is um, the 800 meters for the... Anton North Zone, and we have here from St. Joseph Primary, Rajay Nurse, and we have two athletes here from Renault Weeks Primary in Shamar Hilliman and Donico Jackson. Then we have from Grantley Prescott Memorial, Arian Clark, and from Arthur Smith, Roche Edwards, representing Welch's Primary, Devion Medford. Then from Hillaby Turner's Hall, Natari Levine. This is one I know we're going to have to keep our eye out for. I remember him. And we have from Deacon's Primary, this Rajay Todd. From All Saints Primary, Shiloh Green. And we have from Cuthbert Moore Primary, Aidan Elcox Spooner. And we have the other athlete from Arthur Smith Primary. This one is Deshea Archer. And also the other athlete from Hillaby Turner's Hall, Isaiah Marshall. And rounding out the field from Cuthbert Moore Primary, Eli Seeley. 800 meters. Boys. And they're off and running. And uh, as expected, it looks like Nadari Levine of Hillaby Turner's Hall. And um, I know that Coach Gill, he has a lot of trust in this young man. Um, that is athlete 7369, Natari Levine of Hillaby Turner's Hall in front. He is followed by Deshea Archer of Arthur Smith Primary. Then we see Shiloh Green of All Saints Primary. He is in third and um, in fourth position. The other athlete, Isaiah Marshall of Hillaby Turner's Hall and uh, Natari Levine of Hillaby Turner's Hall. He has the, on his shoulders the great responsibility. He's running, he's strapped up this, uh, this morning. Um, I know he's very um, competitive, very competitive young man. He's, he has 400 meters left to travel. And his arms are pumping. I know for sure that his coaches have been working with him tremendously, tirelessly. He has 300 meters to go, running into second position. It's Shiloh Green of All Saints Primary. But Levine, by a country mile, and in third position is... Isaiah Marshall, they're looking to make it a 1-2 for Hillaby Turner's Hall. And this will go very well for their chances here. And it is all Natari Levine, a very confident young man, putting on a, a very, very classy display here this morning. With just 110 meters to go, it is... Young Natari Levine of Hillaby Turner's Hall striding away. Oh, Natari looks as though he can do this all day, every day. Striding away, gritting his teeth. I'm sure his coach told him he has to run for time. Natari Levine does it emphatically. Oh, Let's yes. see who's going to run for second. Will Isaiah Marshall be able to get there? Oh, there's a young man there. Oh, looks like the young man from St. Joseph Primary may have just closed the gap, denying Hillaby Turner's Hall a 1 2. Um, the thing is, as you said, um, Neil, it's all about 
times. Right. Times will matter, not positions. So I think once the athletes are aware that they need to run a uh, fast time, they will do what's necessary. Um, only 12 will be advancing to the final in, in this 800 meters, and that will be 12 coming out of all eight zones. Yes. So again, we want to impress upon the viewers, mm -hmm. because an athlete wins a section does not mean that that athlete will advance to the final. For sure. So it's all about the times, getting the times in there. I'm sure that um, Mr. Junior Seals is going to be rejoicing. He gave me a call this morning and told me, look out for Natari. Natari's going to blow away the field. Yeah. So said, so done. So I know he must be somewhere rejoicing. I like know Coach Gill. He's very sweet on, uh, on the young Levine. And um, he told me this way in advance. He said, I have someone coming from Hill to be turning as well. And I so, said, okay, sure, so go ahead. Is, is he saying that Natari is going to take the knapsack title? Well, he's, very, he's confident. He's very confident. And yes. as I say, he's very sweet on him and, 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 and believes that he has an excellent chance. Well, of course, we'll see how the other 800s will pan out. And um, this guy here, 70-72 from um, All, All Saints, Saints Primary. Yeah. Uh, we'll see. See how he goes. Yeah. On the line, um, this is the second of these two time finals um, from All Saints Primary, Tazian Boyce, representing Renault Weeks Primary, is Nico Benjamin. And we have also from All Saints Primary, Amar Curtin Phillips. This is another one we need to keep our eyes on. From Welch's Primary, Azari Ash, representing Grantley Prescott Memorial. This is Zakai Seeley. From Deacon's Primary, Ashe Austin. Then we have from St. Joseph Primary, Josiah Lane. Representing Arthur Smith Primary is Tyrell Carew Stevens. From St. Joseph Primary, that's Josiah Lane. From Welch's Primary, Christopher Lynch. From Cuthbert Moore Primary, Tosh Aline. I can remember that name as well. And then we also have from Hillaby Turner's Hall, that's Jamali Jackman. And from Grantley Prescott Memorial, Zion Chase. And quickly as the race has gone off we have the two young men from welch's primary there azari ash and um, christopher lynch they are running in second and third as they go down the back stretch for the first time and uh, both of these young men now just assuming first and second also there it's athlete 7218 he went out early the, from deacon's primary that's ashe austin so from welch's primary these two young men they're looking to put some daylight between themselves and the pack but running into contention from all saints primary is amar curtin phillips and he's not going to let these two young men dictate the proceedings for too long as he just sweeps on by and takes over so Amar Curtin Phillips he's pumping his arms well again we can see the difference between the the athletes who are well coached um, versus the ones who are just going to run on sheer natural ability so just with just about 300 meters left as he now runs up to the, the that mark it is Amar Curtin Phillips for All Saints Primary. He's in front. Also from Hillaby Turner's Hall, Jamali Jackman. He's running into second. And uh, going during the back stretch, Amar Curtin Phillips. Takes a look over his shoulder just to see if anyone is coming. He has a considerable lead on the others. He has 200 meters to go. Oh, look at that gap. Oh, that's about, oh, about 80 meters on them. And, uh, you know, today is his day. He's just easy as he goes looking around. And, you know, this is the difference between what we saw from this race and the other race um, where the other young man seemed to know that he needed to run against time. Now, it seems as though he's caught the bit between his teeth and saying let me grit and go that is young Amar Curtin Phillips of All Saints Primary doing it here in the second of this time finals for the and the Pedia Shore Anton Norzon victorious second position is Jam Jamali Jackman 
Second position from Hillaby Turner's Hall Primary. Yes, he ran second and third. Looks like the other young man from All Saints Primary. So All Saints Primary picking up some points there. That's um, Zion Boyce of All Saints Primary. So let's give you some points here coming into the Pediasure Anton North Zone. The coming into today's event, Renault Weeks Primary is up front in the girls on 66 points. All Saints Primary in second with 61 points. And Hillaby Turner's Hall, that's the top, running out the top three on 57 points. And actually, they are also tied for, for that third position with Deacon's Primary. And in the boys' category, All Saints Primary would have just picked up some points there. They're up front on 80 points. In second, Welch's Primary on 55 points. And then we see a third Third place being a tie right now between Hillaby Turner's Hall Primary and Reynolds Reeks Primary on 46 points. So, you know, Hillaby would have just picked up some points there, Michael, as well as all Saints now just going on um, to reestablish their lead, I should say, in the boys' division. Oh, yes, things, things are looking really good. Um, a battle brewing between all Saints and Hillaby Turner's Hall. Um, we can tell you the high jump competition, as you heard, that's going on. Um, the girls open high jump. We have Deidreanne Headley of Charles F. Broom, Serena Hope of the St. George Lions, Kyla Atkins of Bay Primary, Alexis Green of St. George Lions, Najera Gamble of Charles F. Broom, Diamond Foster of Bay Primary. And those young ladies are attempting 1.15 meters. Um, hopefully, when we get a break, we'll be able to bring you some highlights from that high jump. We also have Abby Dawson from All Saints, from Arthur Smith, Celine Harrison, Hannah Grant from Grantley Prescott, Ashley Wilborn from Arthur Smith, and Haley Jilks from Arthur Smith as well. So two zones competing in the high jump simultaneously. Mm -hmm. and this is just a replay that you're seeing now. Of the just concluded 800 meters for the, the 800 meters open for the boys. And um, as you can see, the little ones getting ready for the 50 meter dash. Always exciting. Always, always. See these under sevens going. Um, two lads there from Welch's Primary in that 800 meters. And then, of course, we saw this guy <laughs> taking over. Um, just, just looking at him before the race started, yes, Neil, yes, 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 um, yes. suggested he has the build. Yeah. Um, Mike, I remember seeing him run before, and um, I think it was last year. He, he ran quite well, um, and he, he was very, very strong as well. Um, so it's going to be a good build-up between himself and um, you know, Natari Levine yes. of um, Hillaby Turner's Hall. So that's why I said, you know, we still have four more zones to go and mm -hmm. you don't know who you will see emerging coming from those zones. Mm -hmm. um, of course, we we'll, we can start to identify athletes yes. who look really good. Um, and even from yesterday, we, we can well. see some of the athletes to watch out for. For example, Jendea Burke oh, yes. from Christchurch Christ Girls. Girls. Yeah. Um, she was quite dominant mm -hmm. in the 600 meters um, she ran the 400 as well. Yeah. Um, so she's going to be one of those athletes who will be on the lips yeah. of, of the um, coaches, the athletes themselves. Because those guys, they know who the competition Definitely. is, where the competition will be coming from. So we're going to focus our attention here on the under 7 girls 50 meters. This is action in the Pedialyte Marcia Trotman zone. Um, just two um, time finals for these little ones and the record 10.00 seconds established last year by Riley Brathwaite of Charles F. Mm -hmm. Broom. Do you know who <laughs> Yes. <laughs> yes. 
So here we go. From Sela Primary, Melina Clark in lane one. In lane number two, Shamaya Smith of St. James. Lane three, Zaria Worrell of Trinity Academy. In four, Shavaya Holder of St. Margaret's. Lane five, Amaya Miller from Charles F. Broom. In lane six, Aria Barker of Bay Primary. And in seven, Kenesha Taylor Nurse of the St. George Primary Lions. Two sections for the under seven girls. And you can see the officials trying to be even more efficient today um, as they, they're just lining up. Oh, that little girl is ready to, yes, go, ready to go from Bear Primary. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, so you can see that the two sections lined up for yes. the Marcia Trotman zone. And then right behind them should be the next two sections for the Anton Norris zone. And once we can get things going, actually, there are three sections for the Anton Norris zone. Okay. Yes, that young lady there. Aria Barker of Bay Primary. She looks ready, boy. <laughs> yes. I, I, I still contain that for these races, for the little ones. The starter needs to be behind. behind yes. um, because these athletes tend to look, look at, at the starter. Yeah. And, and they, they're more prone to start before the gun goes. So... <laughs> I think the organizers should really consider yeah. um, placing the starter behind. Uh, all they need to do is listen for the gun. And there so here see. we go. See the I'm going to try it again. Yeah. Clark, Smith, Worrell, Holder, Miller, Barker, and Taylor Nurse. Off and running. So that young lady, Barker of Bear Primary, you, we can see why she was so <laughs> eager to get out there, to show them how fast she is, and she's going to keep running. <laughs> I recall one year when those on the sevens ran all around to the 300-meter yeah, yeah. mark. <laughs> and, and, and ironic, this is ironic, we're talking about the Pedialyte Marcia Trotman zone. It was Marcia Trotman who had to run and get catch those, <laughs> catch those little ones. Yes. yes. So under seven girls, second section here ready to go. Malia Watson of St. George Primary in lane one. In two is Miracle Moore of Sela Primary. In three, Janiah Bess Miller of Trinity Academy. In four, Aria Perry of Charles F. Broom. Lane five, Denisha Bess of St. Mary's. Lane six, Nazaria Curtin Brathwit of Bay Primary. Lane seven, Elena Bradshaw of St. James Primary. And in lane number eight, Shazaria Herewood of St. Margaret's Primary. Yes, and the young lady there from St. Mary's just shaking to someone <laughs> in, the cl in the crowd. Uh, <laughs> of course, the parents, I see the, an official probably begging the spectators to just settle down so the athletes can hear the start of the race. <laughs> And of course, their parents are in there shaking and shouting their names. There we go. Off and running. Second section on the seven girls. Looking like Sealers Primary, Miracle Moore. And no, it's not. Moore is beaten on the line by Curtin Brathwaite, Nazaria Curtin Brathwaite of Bay Primary. So that's two victories, two victories yes. for the Bay Primary young ladies on the seven girls. And it seems as though, look at, uh, if we look at the replay, um, they were not even focused on the on on, on the starter, hmm. and she got a, a a very bad start. Yes, and she was able to close the ground. Young lady from Sela, she had a fantastic start, yes. but Bay Primary emerging champions, Derek. And now we move on to the Pedia Sure Anton Norris Zone, the first of the three time finals. Um, in lane number three, it looks like. From Hillaby Turner's Hall, Rosaria Sw Swain. In lane four, from All Saints Primary, Delisha Robinson. In lane number six, it looks like in lane number six, or lane five, from Renault Weeks Primary, Isla Taylor Gittins. In lane seven, from St. Joseph Primary, that's Naima Watson. In lane eight, from Grandly Prescott, Skylar Scantlebury. 
Just five athletes here, and they're off and running. And it's the young lady here from All Saints Primary. The one here on the outside. Oh, a very, very, very close finish here. Michael, that was very, very tight. All Saints Primary. Um, oh, yes. We have Delisha Robinson. And then we had from St. Joseph Primary, Naima Watts. And from Grantley Prescott, Skylar Scantleberry. As we watch the replay here. The young lady from All Saints, Delisha Robinson, she had a very fast start. Very and I start. must say, the, the form on that young lady in lane six, Naima Watts from St. Joseph Primary, great running form, great form. being exhibited. And now we're on to the second one. Here we have in lane two from Deacon's Primary, Janae Headley. Lane three from St. Joseph Primary, that is Jalen Grant. In uh, lane number five from Cuthbert Moore Primary, that is Chicago. Sakani so Kenny Green, and then in lane number six from Arthur Smith Primary, Roche Straker, and out in lane number seven from Welch's Primary, that is Kalia Prince. You can see Janae Headley, uh, she's really focused as they come down the stretch, and it is from Welch's Primary, Kalia Prince, Kalia Prince, she wins this one easily. And that's young Kalia Prince of Welch's Primary. She just won the second of these time finals. And we're moving on now to the final. He, he, the, the final one now here. And we have... As this is a replay of the race which we just saw. Where we saw the young lady from Welch's Primary. And now we are on now to the final heat here in lane two from Welch's Primary. That is Tyresha Rowe Headley. And she's gone off. Also running here a little green. And they're bunching up. Oh, this is going to be from the young lady from Hillaby Turner's Hall, Lachey Clark Cumberbatch. But it seemed as though they wanted to run a race like an 800 meter or something where we have a pack. They ran out of their lanes, and it's, you know, for these young, young, young people, it is hard for them. They're not accustomed to running in lanes, you know. They will go to what they know, um, running at school, they're you know, in their classes, and so on. Uh, but it was definitely the young lady from Hillaby Turner Hall, followed by the young lady from Welch's Primary. Yes, Neil, the <laughs> these little ones... It's not about the lanes at all. It's about getting to that finish line <laughs> as quickly as possible. Um, so you, you, you hardly get anyone being penalized at, at this level um, as long as they, unless it's really a clear case of impeding the progress of another runner. So we're on to the under seven boys, 50 meters, the Pedialyte Marcia Trotman zone. And as we told you, there's competition happening in the high jump. I understand that. A record might have been broken over at the high jump, but we'll get over there momentarily. We're back on track. Our first of three time finals for the under seven boys, Jalen Padmore of St. Margaret's Primary, and he's in lane number two. In lane four, Cairo Nurse of the Trinity Academy. Lane five, Jeremiah Rayside of Charles F. Broom. And in lane number six, Sefian Klinkit of St. George Primary. Those are the four going. And they see the, the starters are giving the, these young men some instructions. Um, just trying to reassure them. And they are, they are off and running. So here we go. Those two lads looking at each other, having some fun. <laughs> Not the St. George lad. He's saying, oh, my, that's a close one. Could be Padmore of St. Margaret's there on the inside but it was really it was really funny to see those two lads um ray Sai from charles f broom and clink it from st george there we go and he all smiles he's looking across to his right but clink it of st george is not having that uh really close between clink it and padmore of st margaret imagine that conversation i'm faster than you yeah. you're not faster than me <laughs> <laughs> well yeah. it's good to have fun yeah but there's also a time to get serious when we get to the end mm -hmm. 
Yes, so here we go, our second section already. Zadikia Lashley of St. Margaret, she's in lane number two. In lane three from St. James Primary, Caden King. Lane four, representing the Trinity Academy, Callum Ford. In lane five, he's nudging, ready to go, and they're off and running. This guy is looking good here. Um, Romario Howell of St. Mary's, he's looking good. Ah, yes. Romario Howell, they're out in lane number seven. Robinson Aline, Janari Robinson Aline of St. George Primary with a very, very close second. There we go, a replay. And we can see some pretty good running form from Romario Howell of St. Mary's there in lane number seven. Yes, he edged out Robinson Aline of St. George Primary. So some pretty decent running from these on the sevens, Neil. Definitely, third section ready to go and they're really going with the, yes. these 50s <laughs> my goodness Zaire Flats of Bear Primary he's in two in three is Vidal White of St. James they're off and from Sela is Keegan Motley he's in five uh, that Bear Primary lad Zaire Flats he mm. will take it yes he is going for it and he has done it so that's the under seven boys in the Marcia Trotman zone done and dusted and we are moving on now to the uh, well, we can see the replay yes and that lad over there Zaire out in lane number two yes he means business he looks <laughs> very strong oh there. yes <laughs> so we on the on the line now would be the young men the under seven boys for in the pediatric Anton North zone in lane number Two. This is the first of the time finals in lane two from Deacon's Primary. That is a Manny Ford. Lane three from Arthur Smith Primary. That is Jumari Boyce. Lane four from Reno Weeks Primary. Giovanni Lucas Hemmings. Lane five from All Saints Primary. Zarek. Okay, I think they're now changing it up a bit. Yes, they're now changing it. Now, yes, we do. Now, so in lane five from All Saints Primary, that is Zarek Richards, and in lane six from Grantley Prescott Memorial, it should be Dimitri Corliss Maycock. So they're just making some adjustments on the line. The starters are making sure that everything is working out quite well, and they're off and running. And, uh, you know, we, we, we're going to see them looking around here at this stage. But it, it's going to be from Deacon's Primary. Deacon's Primary, Amani Ford. He would have been victorious there. Jumari Boyce was also there. And um, also from uh, Renault Weeks, Giovanni Lucas Hemmings. And, uh, and Neil, yes, you're right in saying these little ones, you will see them looking around at each other. <laughs> <laughs> um, but by the time they reach on the 11, oh, things yeah. change. Things change mm -hmm. up quite quickly. And now we're moving on now to the second of these timed finals. I think that is here. Right, so from Welch's primary, we have Jadario Belgrave. In lane two, lane three, we'll see from Grantley Prescott Memorial, that is Cameron Gittins. Lane four from All Saints Primary, that's Tashawn Sobers. Um, also coming through here from is Micah Foster of Cuthbert Moore Primary. And uh, also in this event, from Hillaby Turner's Hall Primary, that is Cadian Williams Gittins. And from St. Joseph Primary, Tyree Mears. But it is the young man from Hillaby Turner's Hall. I'm sure they're jumping up there. It's Cadian Williams Giddings who does it here for Hillaby Turner's Hall in the second of these three time finals for Hillaby Turner's Hall. Young man doing it quite well. Also running well in this event was a young man from Cuthbert Moore. He held on for second position. Now we're moving to the final of these three-time finals here. Again, the young man from Hillaby Turner's Hall. That's Cesare Romeres in lane two. Lane three from Welch's Primary. That's Draco Stewart. Lane four from St. Joseph Primary. That's Adante Ford. Cuthbert Moore Primary is in lane five, represented by Shaquille Leacock. 
Reynold Weeks is in lane 6 with Malik Brathwick. And in lane number 7 from Deacon's Primary, Jerome Bavel. And they're all on the starter's orders. The men concentrating. They're, they're ready. As we see the athletes in the other zone in the 80 meters, they're getting ready. Just waiting patiently. And I can say the officials are working really hard to get these events run on time this, after, yes. this morning. Yes, Neil, as you see in the background, the 80 meters, those athletes are already lined up. And they're off and running. And the competition coming from, oh, on the outside, it looks like Deacon's Primary, Jerome Bavel. Very, very tight there, Jerome Bavel. And um, also, he got some competition from on the inside. That's Zari Romers and Draco Stewart. So we're going to leave that one for the judges to, to pick apart. And um, here, very, very good form there by Jerome Bavel on the outside. Very tight. I think he just got up. He may have just got up from the young men from on the inside from Hillaby Turner's Hall and Welch's Primary. So that concludes the, the 50 meters for the PDS Shore Anton Norris Zone. Yes, so those 50 meters are done and dusted as we get ready for the under nines now who will be going... 80 meters and you were talking about development and of course we see how things develop from the under sevens going 50 the under nines will go yet a notch to 80, 80. Mm -hmm. and then the under 11s will go 100 etc so coming up now will be the first of three sections in the under nine girls 80 meter dash and this is the pedialyte marcia trotman zone in lane two Shekenia Boxel Jordan of Bay Primary. In lane three, Cassidy Coward of St. George Primary. Lane four, Raquania Mason of St. Mary's. In lane five, Dorisha Holford of St. James Primary. And in lane number six, Kiana Moore of Sela Primary. Yes. These young ladies quite eager to go. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I think Neil in your in your um, other field of horse racing, they're chomping at the bit. Chomping at the bit. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they're ready. So they're going to do the crouch start. Azaria Topping of the St. George Lions. She holds the Marcia Trotman zone record, 13.53 seconds. And that was established last year. So... Ready to go. Boxel, Jordan, Coward, Mason, Holford, and more. Being asked to stand again. Um, so, Neil, again, um, another point that I made yesterday. Um, I think for these, these age groups, if they're not ready for the crouch start, they should be allowed to do a standing I, start. I, I totally agree with you there. Um. So, here we go. Off and running from Sela. Kiana Moore, pretty good start. Look out for the Lion, Cassidy Coward. So it's Moore and Coward, Moore and Coward, Moore. Moore is going to take it from Coward. Kiana Moore of Sela Primary, good form. She was easy. Yes, she was very looking easy. good. Great running form. So Kiana Moore taking that first time final in the under nine girls 80 meter dash. Again, Seeing a replay, a very slow start from Holford of St. James Primary. She was left in the blocks. Lots of work mm -hmm. she had to do. However, mm -hmm. Kiana Moore of Sela Primary, she mm -hmm. was definitely the class act in this section. This should be interesting. Here. I think we should keep an eye on her. Like it was yeah. very, her form there was very, 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 very... We now move to our second section. Uh, Blick Stark of Beyond the Box. She's running out of lane number one. In lane two, Sarah Marie Martin of Trinity Academy. In the middle of the field, Akela Bend of Elliot Belgrave. In lane six, Skyla Moore of St. George Primary. And in lane number seven, Amaya Aline of Charles F. Broom. Five athletes going in this one. Hmm. <laughs> we have some news. 
coming from the 800 meters, uh, Natari Levine um, smashing the record, uh, 231.65, is it? We'll get that correct time for you, but what we can tell you is he smashed the record. That is the zone record, the zone record from 2023. So we will verify that record for you, give you that um, score. I know that <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Junior Seals, um, I won't be surprised if my phone begins to light up because he told me this morning mm. he's going to do something great. So mm. kudos to Natari Levine. Uh, here we go, second section of the under nine girls 80 meter dash. Uh, and that girl looks very focused there from St. George Primary, Skyla Moore. So Moore, Moore, good arm action from Moore. She's going to take that second section. And, of course, the, the Lions must be out there having a blast. So good running from Skyla Moore, St. George Primary, winner of that second section. Here we can see good running form. Mm-hmm. Uh, the young lady from Charles F. Broom, Amaya Aline, uh, having a bit of a difficulty uh, with her coordination, um, putting up a good fight. She'll get there, she'll get there. Of course. On to our third section. Seems to be a full house here for this one. Josiah Greenwich of Trinity Academy in one, Astoria Toussaint of Bear Primary in two. Shaquilla Linton, Charles F. Broom. She's in lane three. In lane four, Zamara Boyce of the Elliott Belgrave Primary. In lane five, Abigail Reed of St. Margaret's. In lane six, Samaya Sanaya Miller of St. Mary's. In lane number seven, Azara Aline of St. James. And in lane number eight, Jaquela Boyce of Sela Primary. So they're off and running. Let's see where the action is going to be. Jaquela Boyce of Sela Primary looking good on the inside. Josiah Greenwich of Trinity Academy. So it's Greenwich versus Boyce. Greenwich mm. and Boyce. Greenwich gets home. Josiah Greenwich of Trinity Academy taking that third section. And Neil, we can't say very much until we see those um, times. Times. I mean. Yeah, so, you know, they may look fast, yes, yes, but yes, yes, yes. it's all about the times. But in this one, Josiah Greenwich of Trinity Academy, there on the inside, and she was the one to win that one. So we can confirm Natari Levine, 2 minutes 31.65. That's a decent time. Good time. Um, smashing the previous record of 245.86. So congrats to Natari Levine of Hillaby Turner Hall Primary, a new record. 231.65. And we're now on to the Pediatra Anton Norris Zone. Here are the under nines. This is the first of these three time finals in lane number two from Arthur Smith Primary. That's Jariah Boyce. In lane three from Hillaby Turner's Hall. That is Skyan Maynard. Lane four from Deacon's Primary. That's Nyasia Boyce. In lane five from Grandi Prescott Memorial. That is Naya Pru Seeley. In lane six from All Saints Primary, that is Josaria Barrow. And in lane number seven from Reno Reese Primary, that is Riv Rivania Critchlow Dotting. And they're off to a pretty good start from Deacon's Primary. She's running all over the track. But in lane number six, it looks like from All Saints Primary, yes. All Saints Primary, that is Jazaria Barrow. Did you see what happened to Jazaria Barrow? Oh. <laughs> if we see, <laughs> see the, the replay, replay, you'll see what happened. Her shoes. Her shoes. She yes. ran right out the shoes. <laughs> Watch carefully. Oh. Watch carefully here. There goes, well, both they both. Shoes off, <laughs> and that was the point where she decided, look, forget the run. shoes. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> Time to run, you know? Yeah. As, as a good friend of mine would say, she got rid of her flat tires. Yeah. And, you know, maybe... Maybe she wanted to run, run without the shoes yes, from the beginning. Definitely. <laughs> All right. So now we have on the track um, the second of these two time finals. And uh, here we go. In lane number two from St. Joseph Primary, that's Annika Brathwaite. In lane three from uh, All Saints Primary, that is Janaya Barrow. Lane four from Deacon's Primary, Crystal Tate. 
Megan Corbin in lane 5 from Renault Weeks Primary. And lane number 6 is from Belchers Primary. That is Leah Reed. And in lane number 7 from Cuthbert Moore Primary, that is Soraya Clark. And they are off to a good start. And it is the young lady from All Saints Primary, Janaya Barrow. She's running well. Janaya Barrow will go on to win this one easily. From on the outside from Welch's Primary, that is Leah Reed. And tight for third. But no doubt about the winner, Janaya Barrow of All Saints Primary. Yes, and as we can see, the replay, she was out from the get-go. Probably popped up <laughs> a little too soon. <laughs> Nevertheless, <laughs> she was into her running quickly mm. and demolished the field here. Good running form, keeping her eyes, her oh. face directly to the front. Nice arm action from that young lady. She was skipping away, and uh, we're moving on now to the final heat here in these three time finals in lane number two from St. Joseph Primary, that is Rakira Mears. Lane three from Cuthbert Moore Primary, that is Kalani Beckles. In lane four from Grandly Prescott Memorial, that is Ajada Reese Watson. Representing Hillaby Turner's Hall, it is Michaela Harris in lane 5, lane 6 from Arthur Smith Primary, Amora Jarvis. And in lane number 7 from Wilches Primary, that is Chloe Tudor. This is the final of these three time finals. And they're off and running. And from Cuthbert Moore, Kalani Beckles, she's looking strong, but in the middle of the course, here comes Michaela Harris. But it is from Cuthbert Moore. It's a ding dong battle. What? Cuthbert Moore, primary Kalani Beckles. She hangs on to win it from Michaela Harris from Hillaby Turner's Hall primary. So um, that should be it there. Michael, yes, here we can well. see the replay again. Oh, down. I didn't see that one from Belch's primary. That's Chloe Tudor. She went down. But she got back up and she ran again. And look and see what she did. Even though she fell, she closed ground. It would have been interesting to see what she would have done if she didn't take a spill. We, we have some interesting news, although we didn't get the opportunity to let our viewers see. But at least they will know that the, there's a new record. Um, 1.25 meters. Um, that's Serena Hope of St. George. The St. George Lions out there. Oh my, that's a good clearance there Everybody. from her. Serena Hope. <laughs> um, oh. 1.25 meters. Oh, the yeah. record. So here we have it. Serena Hope of St. George. And Ooh. of course, the Lions must be ecstatic over the moon here. Serena Hope of St. George. We're ready to go before first of three. In the under nine boys, 80 meters. And let's see who it will be here coming up. Lane number six, that's Griffith of Sela Primary. Tyron Griffith of Sela Primary taking that first section in the under nine boys, 80 meter dash. So we have loads of action, Neil. Yes. High jump seems to be rather exciting. Um, 1.27 meters. And then back onto the track. With these guys running the 80 meters, Tyron Griffith, Sela Primary. Hold on, Tyron Griffith, that name sounds very familiar. Tyron Griffith, Tyron Griffith. former commissioner of police. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but once you hear Griffith, you know that they have to from be the from north. that side of the world. Sela <laughs> Primary, yeah. yes. But so Michael. here we go with our second section. These guys are really rolling here. Kudos to the officials for keeping things rolling. And we have to do so. Yard of Charles F. Broom in two. Brewster, Bay Primary. Herbert, St. George. Clark, Sela. Pierre, Boyce of St. James. Cornybert of Trinity Academy. So they will have to reset and come again. And Michael, I can tell you that that high jump, that young lady was soaring, man. That was excellent there. We'll see if we can get an interview with her a little later. So here we go, another St. George Lionate, Amani Herbert, and he's being challenged though by Yard of Charles F. Broom, and on the outside, Corny Burt of Trinity Academy, but, oh mm. my, that's close, I cannot I call finish. that, <laughs> I cannot call that, too close to call, 
<laughs> yes, those guys were really rolling along there. That's really too close to call. We'll see the replay. A good start, though. I must give credit to Amani Herbert of St. George Primary. Mm -hmm. He was out. And Corny Burt of Trinity Academy was in the picture at one point in time. But those four over there, oh. two, three, four, and five. Mm -hmm. Brewster, Herbert, Clark, and Pierre Boyce. Almost a blanket finish there. Third and final section in the under nine boys. This is the Marcy Trotman zone. Compliments of Pedialyte. Aline of Randall Weeks, Bovell of Deacons, Thomas no. of Hillaby Turner's that Hall. Here, mm -hmm. Sorry, that's the wrong one. We are ahead of ourselves. Brathwaite of Elliot Belgrave. Um, wow, well, that was a quick start from Howard Niles of Charles F. Broom. He mm -hmm. was out. I need to see that replay. <laughs> Liam Howard Niles of Charles F. Broom and winning that one. I need to see the replay there. <laughs> it seemed to me got out before the gun. <laughs> wow. Liam Howard Niles. Liam Howard Niles. That was quick. Really, really quick there. So that is very, very, very good there. And as we move on now to the Anton Norris equivalent of the under nine boys, 80 meters in lane number one from Reynolds Weeks Primary, that is Shakari Aline. In lane two from Deacon's Primary, Jaden Bavell. Lane three from Hillaby Turner's Hall, this is Shaquan Thomas. Representing Cuthbert Moore Primary in lane number four is Nakari Stout Johnson. Lane five is Amari Brown Greenwich from Grantley Prescott Memorial. Lane six from Welch's Primary, Azari Welch. And in lane number seven, from All Saints Primary, Kevon Roach. And they're on the starter's orders. And it's a very good, clean start. Taking a little stumble there from Hillaby Turner's Hall is Shaquan Thomas. But on the outside from All Saints Primary, here comes Kevon Roach. Kevon Roach was dominant there. Wins it quite easily in the end from young man Shakari Aline of Renovics Primary. And in third from Hillaby Turner's Hall, Shaquan Thomas. That's the way they cross the line in the first of these three time timed finals. As we saw there, Thomas stumbling. But Kevon Roach from All Saints Primary, easily, larger than in charge, wins that one. We're we moving on to the second. Second of these time finals. Here we have from St. Joseph Primary, that is Holder, lane two from Arthur Smith to Rick Bino, lane three is from Grantley Prescott Brown Greenwich as they're off and running. Um, out in lane number, looks like lane number seven from Erdiston Special Unit. It is Ajani Steel. Ajani Steel. Oh, the man of steel turned up here this morning. Ajani Steel from Erdiston Special School. Victorious there. Very well done there, young man. Uh, let's look at the replay. He got up to a very, very good start. Also got a good start from All Saints, Danico Hines. And also from lane number two, Arthur Smith yeah, to yeah, Rick Bino, but there's no doubt about the winner in lane number seven from Erdiston Special School, a Johnny Steele. Very good performance there. And as we move on now to the final race in this, the Pedia Shore Anton Norris zone in lane number two from Hillaby Turner's Hall is Kamani Cyrus, lane three from Deacon's Primary, Micah Armstrong, lane four from Reno Reeks, that is. Nile Barrow Clark as the race is being set off and they're coming down the lane and it looks like from Renault Weeks, the young man from Renault Weeks in lane number four that is Nile Barrow Clark victorious or victorious there as we take a look at the replay and he got off to a very good start also in that event with Joshua Ford from St. Joseph Primary and in lane 7 from Arthur Smith, Jokori Bess. Very, very good run there by the young man. Okay, so Neil, things are really going here at the second day of the Shafet Frosties Knapsack 2024. Um, we started with a really good result actually so we saw two records being broken so far uh, at these zones the high jump 
record as well as the 800 meters yes 800 meters so a great start um as we said from yesterday we had some giveaways we asked our viewers marshall how is the viewing looking today <laughs> i know we had people viewing from london yesterday from texas from um philadelphia from saint lucia all over the place and the high jump is so this is the now. boys high jump mm -hmm. competition that's gonna happen um so we have a giveaway today yesterday two lucky winners got vouchers compliments of rubis caribbean mm -hmm. the sponsor of one of the zones today the giveaway listen carefully to what you have to do go to the Shafet ig page and you write knapsack is unstoppable under the gordon greenwich post and you can win you have a chance to win 30 dollars voucher the first person to do so will win so again go to the shafet ig page write knapsack is unstoppable under the gordon greenwich post and that's an opportunity for someone to win pda sure they also have a giveaway how many zones is Pharmacy Sales Caribbean Inc. sponsoring this year? Again, how many zones is Pharmacy Sales Caribbean Inc. sponsoring this year? And you can send that answer to WhatsApp 836-1877. WhatsApp your answer to 836-1877. How many zones is Pharmacy Sales Caribbean Inc. sponsoring this year? And again, the giveaway for Shafet. Go to the Shafet IG page. Write, Knapsack is unstoppable under the Gordon Greenwich Post. And you have a chance to win a voucher. So those are our first set of giveaways and compliments of our sponsors. So, Neil, that high jump um, competition is going on, and I guess we can take this time to acknowledge our sponsors. Mm -hmm. And these are all of the sponsors. Neil, maybe you can let us know who are all the sponsors. Yes, we have Shafet Restaurant Limited, Frosty's Ice Cream, The Nation Publishing Company Limited, Rubis, Eastern Caribbean, SRL, West India Biscuit Company, the, the sponsors of Holiday and Bermudas, Massey Distribution, Barbados Limited, Milo, and we also have Pharmacy Sales, Caribbean Inc., the Ministry of Education, Technological and Vocational Training, Atlantic Marketing and Company Limited, the National HIV AIDS Commission, Made It Against the Odds Foundation, and we have Armstrong Agencies, Roberts Manufacturing Company Limited, the Barbados Public Workers Cooperative Credit Union Limited, Infra Equipment Rentals Limited, the Digicel Barbados Limited, the Barbados Olympic Association, National Conservation Commission, IMPS Assurance Brokers Limited, Caribbean Broadcasting Corporation, the Barbados Union of Teachers, Starcom Network Inc., Julie's Party Rentals, Western Wholesale Inc., Creative Junction, Elco Rentals Limited, TOS Catering, Trophy World, National Sports Council, and Hanshal Innes Limited are sponsors here for Knapsack 2024. So, Neil, yes, we of course we need to acknowledge and consistently thank our sponsors for coming aboard with us. And it seems like we have a winner already for the PDA Shore give giveaway. Um, and we'll come back to that. But for sure, we're back on track here with our first of three time finals in the under 13 girls 400 meters. The record here they're chasing in the Marcia Trotman zone. One minute, eight seconds established by Shania Hinkson of Charles F. Broome back in 2023. So it's looking like Maya Blagrove of St. James Primary. She's doing the early running out there. And she's in lane number six. They're in the light blue top. Competitor 7790. There she goes. Maya Blagrove of St. James Primary. And close to her. Karen Reese of Cedar Primary out in lane number seven. Moving up, we can see from Charles F. Broom, Larisha Ford Airguard. 
from Charles F. Broome in lane number two as they round the final turn coming into the straightaway still holding on to that lead Maya Blagrove of St. James Primary and Ford Airguard of Charles F. Broome trying her utmost young lady looking into the stands yes. maybe for some moral support <laughs> from but in the meantime Ford mm. Airguard of Charles F. Broome is fighting through and she's gonna take it so Neil a lesson for the young lady always keep your eyes to the front look straight ahead and work hard to the finish line keep running so keep running. Larisha Ford Airguard of Charles F. Broome edging out Blagrove of St. James Primary and she will take the first of three sections in the Pedialyte Marcia Trotman zone second section already on the line Ijarika Moncter of, of St. George Primary. <laughs> if I say Charles F. Brown, my goodness, I'll be stormed. <laughs> uh, look out for her in lane number one. In lane two, Tiara Watson Brown of St. Mary's. Lane three, Kaya Warner Franklin of Trinity Academy. This mm -hmm. is the real yes, deal. Yes, you yes, remember yes, her yes. from last year. last year. She is the real deal. Mm -hmm. Yes, I think she ended up being the Victrix, Victrix. Ludorum. Yes. yes. Kaya Warner Franklin, um, under 13 girls. In lane number four, Anaya Hackett of St. Margaret's Primary. Lane five, Shatania Straker Eiffel of Bay Primary. In lane number six, Tamaya Graves of Sela Primary. In lane number seven, Maya kill of beyond the box education so they're off and running second section under 13 girls all eyes will be on warner franklin of trinity academy i'm quite sure um, everyone knows of her ability my goodness she's taken oh, she's yes. almost um, picked up the stagger on the entire field Yes, so she's looking really good. I'm sure that the Christchurch girls are somewhere watching. watching this. I am yes, sure yes, Jane yes, Dia Burks, her, her entire entourage are somewhere watching mm -hmm. to see where the opposition is going to come from. But Warner Franklin of Trinity Academy looking really, really good at the 150 mark. I told you to look out for Moncter as well from St. George. She's coming. So Moncter, she is mounting an attack <laughs> for the last 100 meters uh yes uh warner franklin did a lot of work early i think she kind of relaxed though i think she's giving herself too much work to do here um but that will come with experience so warner franklin the winner a good run from Moncter of st george primary to take that second position but don't forget michael she's running against the clock Yes, so yes. she still had to put it in. Yes. So we're seeing, yes, she could have, she's given herself a lot to do, but she has to run that is for so time. True. That is so, so true. So in her mind, I, I, I would say in her defense, kudos. That's a very good run. Um, you know, that is a very, very good run from the young lady. Who, remember, this, I think this is her first year in the under 13. Under 13. Yes, mm -hmm. for sure. So one more section to come. Remember that time 10800, that's the record. And maybe she was running for the record too. Could <laughs> <laughs> so in this one, we'll see Moisha Jean-Philippe from the Elliott Belgrave Primary in lane number one. In lane two, Serena Hope of St. George. Lane number three, Malika Milong of Bay Primary. We saw her so earlier in the 600. And you'll find this, a lot of yes. these... Um, kids will be running the six or the eight. They'll mm -hmm. come back and run the four, four, and then you'll see them later on in the in the, two. Me in the medley relays as and well. And the medley, yes. Mm -hmm. In lane four, Shataya Mears of St. Margaret's. Lane five, Nakira Welch Hines of St. James. In lane number six, Azaria McConney of St. Mary's. And in lane number seven, K. Amor Nanton Mayat of Charles F. Broom. Mm -hmm. So that high jump competition for the boys, when we saw earlier the boys warming up, that competition has started and we'll keep you abreast of what's happening over at the high jump. 
In the meantime, they're on the starter's orders for the third and final section in the Pedialyte Marcia Trotman zone. They're off. Jean-Philippe Hope, Milong, Mears, Welchines, McConney, and Nanton Mayat. So let's see who will get to do the early running. It's looking like Nanton Mayat of Charles F. Broom. She's out in lane number seven. And Neil, if you ever ran and you had lane number seven or eight in a 400 meters, run. <laughs> there's nothing left to do but run. to run. Just run. <laughs> <laughs> So, St. George Primary, Serena Hope in lane number two. She's moving up. There she goes. And she has now passed Nanton Mayat. Based on her lane assignment in two, she is well ahead of the field here. Mm -hmm. So, nice yes, yeah, so Serena Hope of St. George Primary coming into the straightaway. She has about 50 meters to go. And I believe these under 13s will more have a, a, a better idea of yes. what it is to run for a time. Yes. So Serena Hope of St. George motoring on. She will finish in first. Let's see who will finish up in second. Out in lane number seven, Nanton Mayat of Charles F. Broom. So that will do it, Neil, for the... Marcia Trotman's zone compliments of Pedialyte and I believe you will have the next three to go in the Pediasure Anton North zone. Yes, definitely. Michael, um, we also have um, on the line from Welch's Primary. This is, we're going to take a look as the, the officials are buzzing around they're getting the getting the charges on in lane number two from welch's primary that is shakenya herbert lane three from all saints primary asha sobers lane four from Reynolds weeks primary that is akira applewaite lane five from cuthbert moore primary that is jaleesa reed in lane six from arthur smith primary that is jariah o'neill and out in lane number seven from st joseph primary donika bradshaw the uh, old ladies are just waiting patiently for, to, to get on the get on the starters orders um, meanwhile on the, the the young men are doing the high jump we have Kristen Armstrong from Arthur Smith primary Shaquan Brathwaite um, and he's going to be representing as the we'll just we we'll continue that as these young ladies go off and they're just being asked to stand from All Saints Primary Shaquan Brathwaite he's also in the high jump from Arthur Smith Simeon Williams from Grantley Prescott Memorial Primary Ryan Eli and also from All Saints Primary Shakai Rock they are the young men participating in the Anton North Zone in the high jump open high jump and uh, also represent in the Pedialyte Marcia Trotman zone participating in the high jump the open is Mackay Greenwich of St. George Lions from Charles F. Broom Miles Sutherland Xavier Bark of Bay Primary Caleb Callender of St. George Lions Darren Tr Toppin of Charles F. Broom Primary and we have young Mr. Dominic Green of Bay Primary and uh, Ronaldo Stewart of St. James Primary. These are the young men who are participating in the high jump, which is also in progress. But on the track, they are off and running, and in lane number six, it looks like, from Arthur Smith Primary, Jariah O'Neill. She's gone out early. And we have... Also doing some good running in the middle of the track. It looks like the young lady from Deacon's Primary as we just wait him. They, they go down the bat stretch. 200 meters left to travel. And it is the young lady from Deacon's Primary who's looking good and strong as well. They are well strung out here. And this the first of the time trial time finals and it is 
100 meters to go and it, it looks like the young lady in lane number four from Deacon's Primary, Brianna Rollins. Brianna Rollins, looks like she's, she's pumping away. She's in she's the young lady in lane four. She wins this one. Okay, we've got a wrong thing there. That is Akira Appowit. Akira Appowit um, of Renault Weeks Primary, athlete 7389. So let me just clear that one up. From Renault Weeks, Akira Appowit ran very strong there in lane number four to take the first of these three time finals. And she took command of the race with just about 200 meters to go and just pulled away from them. Akira Appowit of Renault Weeks Primary. So that concludes the first of these three time finals. Moving on now to the second of the time finals. So I just want to apologize there. We now see Brianna Rollins who's going to come up here in this event. So this is the second of these three time finals in lane number two from Arthur Smith Primary. This is Doris Branker. In lane number or looks like I'm just gonna just make sure that we have it. Lane four, Brianna Rollins of Deacon's Primary. Lane five from Grantley Prescott Memorial, Nikaela Colin Hudson. Um, then out in lane number seven from St. Joseph Primary, Sharia Innes. Looks like lane six is empty. So we have four young ladies participating here. Lane two. So, Michael, I think we have. I think this is lane. This is the second of these time finals, and in lane two, what they have here is from Arthur Smith. This is Derice Branker. Lane four from Deacon's Primary, Brianna Rollins. Lane five from Grant New Prescott Memorial. This is Nakela McCollin Hudson Kell. And then in lane seven from St. Joseph Primary, Shariah Ennis. And they're off and running. And out in lane number seven from St. Joseph Primary, Shariah Ennis. Um, then now coming through, <laughs> Brianna Rollins. Uh, we know in the in the previous previous race, I called her name erroneously, but she um, probably probably it was uh, a pro prophetic thing here because we have Brianna Rollins. She's taken command of the race, and she's running away with this one. She has two meet two hundred meters left, and I would say it would take a lot of running for the other competitors to beat Brianna Rollins here. With just 100 meters to go, she has about about 20 meters on them. Brianna Rollins of Deacon's Primary. She's striding away. She takes a look over her shoulder just to see where her competition would come from. Um, just a little, you know, I guess here, you now, Michael, when we, 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 she can take a look back at this and see her form is something that she would need to work on. Um, but she... She's going to win this one pretty easily in the end. It's Brianna Rollins of Deacon's Primary. Second goes to Grant De Prescott's Nikayla McCollin Hudson Kell. And in third, in lane number two, it looks like Doris Branco of Arthur Smith Primary. And we're now going to move on as the officials have them on the line already. Uh, the third of these three time finals. As the they're being set out here by our starters in lane number two from Grandly Prescott Memorial. That's Isla Brathwaite. Lane three from All Saints Primary. That is Kira Stanford Whirl. Lane four from Reynolds Weeks Primary. That is Shania Burgess. Lane five from Deacon's Primary. Aliyah Aline representing Cuthbert Moore Primary. It's Symphony Goddard. Grant, remember her as well. And in lane number seven from Hillaby Turner's Hall, Azalea Derrick. The third.
of the three-time finals in the under-13 girls 400 meters. And they're off and running. It's a pretty good start. Brathwaite, Stanford World, Burgess, Aline, Goddard Grant, and Derek. And it's a very good start here by the young lady from Hillaby Turner's Hall Primary. That's Azalea Derek. She's going out early. Also coming with a run from Reynolds Weeks. Looks like in lane in lane number five from Deacon's Primary, Aaliyah Aline. She's also running strong in third position. It's Kara Stanford World of All Saints Primary. Shania Burgess is also in contention. They're, they're pretty close as they race with just about 100 meters left to go. And it is from All Saints Primary, Kara Stanford World. She's going to come off the bend first. On the her outside from Hillaby Turner's Hall, Azalea Derrick. Here comes from Cuthbert Moore, Symphony Goddard Grant. And it is Symphony Goddard Grant. As a good friend of mine would say, class is class, form is temporary. And Symphony Goddard Grant wins it. From Cuthbert Moore, from Cuthbert Moore Primary. And she, made, she left it to basically the last 50 meters to come through to win the final heat in the under 13 girls 400 meters for the Pedia Shore Anton Norris zone. We're right, now moving on now to the young men. And Michael, you have that call. Oh yes, looking forward to seeing these under 13 boys go. Um, remember there was a young lad from the St. George Lions a couple of years ago who we had so much promise and uh, we were looking forward to see what would happen with him. I think he went on to the St. Michael's School. Uh, but injury. Injury, yes. Injury prevented yeah. us from seeing Your what. Heart. Yes. That's Hart. Ethan Hart. That's the, that's the lad. Ethan Hart. I think he ran, I heard he ran a relay for the St. Michael's School this year. He could only manage the relay. But a guy with so much promise, so much hope. Here we go then, our first section in the under 13 boys. Griffith of Elliot Belgrave. Dodson of Sela Primary. Toppin of St. George. Deer of St. Mary's. Brathwaite of St. James. Atkins of Bay Primary. And we saw these guys, some of these already, already. in the 400, in the 800 meters. So... From St. George is topping in lane number four. And out, out there, Atkins of Bear Primary. There he goes. Mm -hmm. So these fellas have met each other before, <laughs> at least in the eight. It is, yeah. Looking to see who will be victorious in the four. First section here. So topping of St. George Primary coming into the straightaway first. There he goes. 7785 on his chest. Working hard. I'm sure Mr. Kelman has given these guys specific instructions. No matter what you do, run. Run your heart out to that finish line. So, Wajay Topping of St. George Primary, victorious in that first section. Neil, were, did you ever get the opportunity to run a 400 at your time at the Condomere School? I ran 400 meters, mm. uh, not competitively, we just we did that back then for standard points. Oh, to get some points. Get some points for the Remember first, those first days of, <laughs> yes, trying to get some standard points, at least to put your house in a good position. Yeah. Um, uh, and then the... the Real runners and real, real runners. athletes yeah, would yeah, take yeah, over yeah, from yeah. there. <laughs> Put them in a good position. Whatever good position. Yes. I, I was more used to them in the stands. You were the, uh, the you were the guy with the trumpet. With, with the, the trumpet stands. back in the day. Oh, yes. oh yeah, I mean some really good days of, oh, of yeah. sports, yeah. huh? Fantastic days, and um, mm. actually, the, I think the last time Cromer did the double, I was on that team. Uh, yes, that was you were that old, because I think yeah. the last time y'all did the double was some 1995, 20, twenty something years yeah, ago. Twenty nine years ago. Wow, nineteen ninety five. My goodness. Uh, wow. <laughs> 
<laughs> Where's the end? We, we but did let me, let me, let me, let me <laughs> take this opportunity to say congratulations <laughs> to Combo Mirror for doing the double at Bisa. Very well. Um, um, I think when we look at, um, so we'll get back we'll get to back that, that conversation. <laughs> Let's look here at section two under 13 boys, 400 meters. Marshall of Trinity Academy, Griffith of Sela Brown of Charles F. Broom, Hurdle of St. Margaret's, Quesada from Beyond the Box, Sergeant Brathwaite of Bay Primary, and Williams of the Elliott Belgrave Primary. They're off and running. Um, Griffith of Sela Primary starting off with a jog. <laughs> They're in lane number two. He has some company. <laughs> but these guys on the top end, they're not making any sport whatsoever. Mm. Joshua Williams of Elliot Belgrave. He's going. And I'm seeing Zane Brown of Charles F. Broom in the red top trying to close that gap between himself and Joshua Williams of Elliot Belgrave. They're in the yellow and green. So as they approach the 150 meter mark, Sergeant Brathwaite, Malachi Sergeant Brathwaite of Bay Primary, trying to get into the picture now. And he has his eyes set on Joshua Williams as they turn for home. It's those two, Malachi Sergeant Brathwaite of Bay Primary, Running really close to that line, very, uh, Neil. Yeah, very, you touch that line, usually yes. is a disqualification. A strong finishing hurdle of St. Margaret's. Shamani hurdle of St. Margaret's primary. He beats them on the line. Again, we cannot say enough. You must finish. You must, must always finish fast. Must. Um, again, they're running against the clock here. And um, I think some of them know and understand that some... They, 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 they just think, oh, I just need to finish the race, mm -hmm. you know. So um, one section remaining for the under-13 boys in the PDA like Marcia Trotman zone. These guys here are ready to go. From Charles F. Broom in lane one, Keon Hoyt in lane two, Pepin Van Ettinger from Beyond the Box. We saw him earlier. Saw him earlier. As well. yes, yes. Lane yes. three, Raphne Lovell of St. George Primary. He was a, a winner. I don't know really. 800 meters. Oh. Liam Downey of St. Margaret's Primary. Um, he's not present. He should be in lane four. Not there. In five, Zaire Bess Watkins of St. Mary's. In lane number six, Aaron Brathwaite of Trinity Academy. And in lane number seven, Omari Richards of St. James Primary. Third section, the record 108.61. Establish. In last year by Devonte Green of the St. George Lions. Seems as though as, uh, um, every time we look for the record, it's coming from the St. George Lions. Well, um, <laughs> remember, they, they had dominated this zone. Oh, yeah. So when you look at zone records, you will see um, quite, quite a number coming from them. So here we go. Six runners going in this one. Final section for the PDA Light Marcia Trotman zone. Well, Mary Richards of St. James Primary and Aaron Brathway of Trinity Academy out there in lane six and seven. But Raphne Lovell of St. George Primary in three. He's almost next to them. That will tell you that he has made up the stagger made quite a bit on, on his opponents on the outside. He's looking really good right now at 150 to go. Raphne Lovell of St. George Primary. And he's picking up the pace. Coming into the straightaway now. Yes, good strong finish from him. Lovell of St. George. So this will make it two. St. George Lions mm -hmm. winning their sections. We'll see who has the fast, faster time. But for sure, our winner level of St. George Primary. Let's see who will finish up in second. That's Brathwaite, Aaron Brathwaite of Trinity Academy. So, done and dusted the PDA Light Marcia Trotman zone and as we said, 
the competition continues over at the high jump we'll try to update you on that that's the boys open both zones going simultaneously yes and thank you Michael. we are now on to the boys the in the PDS shore Anton North zone in in lane number two this is the first of the three time finals in lane number two from Deacon's Primary, Tyreek Pyle. Lane three from Grandly Prescott Memorial, that is DeAndre Seeley. Lane five, it's from Cuthbert Moore Primary, it's Eli Seeley. Lane six, this is the record holder in the 800 from the Hillaby Turner's Hall Primary, Natari Levine. Let's see what he's going to do here in this event. And out in lane number seven from St. Joseph Primary, Josiah Lane. Five athletes to face the starter. And they're off and running. We have in lane two, Pyle, Seely. Then we have Seely again. This one is young man from Cuthbert Moore Primary and then Levine and Lane. And as you said a little earlier, Michael, he making no sport here today. It is Natari Levine of Hillaby Turner's Hall Primary. Very, very, very confident and very comfortable. Running into second position, it's Tyreek Pyle of Deacon's Primary, but the clock is out on Natari Levine as he comes with just about 100 meters to go and he's kicking into another gear. And here he comes down the stretch and it is Natari Levine of Hillaby Turner's Hall Primary. We need to find out what the record is here, Michael, but it is all over bar the shouting. Very close to 103. You have to check on the record there, but there is no doubt about the winner. Natari Levine of Hillaby Turner's Hall Primary, victorious in this event. Very, very, very commanding win there. Well, definitely, Levine is one of the athletes who the, everyone will be keeping their eyes on. Um, as you said, he... Well, he's pumping his, his, his hands in the air, so I believe he is aware that he might have broken the record. Um, seems that way. Uh, so we'll await the official result. We'll try to see if we can get that result for you. Um, Going to send the girls next door. They might be able to tell us right off the bat if Natari Levine has broken yet another, yet record. another record. So he has the 800 under his belt. And remember that these records are for the zone. They're not the knapsack records, just the zone records. Okay, we're moving on now to the second of these time finals in lane number one from Cuthbert Moore Primary. That's Tosh Aline. Lane two from Arthur Smith Primary, Rache Payne. Lane three from Deacon's Primary, Cedre Cherubin, uh, Cherubin in lane three. Lane four from Erdison Special Unit, Adric Waith. Lane five from Renault Weeks Primary, Shamar Hilliman. Lane six from All Saints Primary, Shiloh Green. And in lane number seven from St. Joseph Primary, Josiah Lane. And they are running off. And from All Saints Primary, looks like Shiloh Green. He is taking the lead. As he goes down, he takes them down the back stretch. It is Shiloh Green in front. In lane number five from Erdison Special. Um, we have. There we have from All Saints Primary. It is Shiloh Green is still in front. Let's see where he's getting some competition now coming through in lane number two. It looks like Rache Payne. Rache Payne is putting in a big effort here. Is he going to catch him? 
He takes a look over his shoulder. They're ding and dong. But it is in lane number two from Arthur Smith Primary, Rache Payne, who got home just ahead of Shiloh Green of All Saints Primary. And that's a very good run there in, from, in lane number five from Renault Weeks, Shamar Hilliman. Definitely your winner in this the second of these same finals from Arthur Smith Primary, Roche Payne. And more records are tumbling as we speak over at the high jump. We have a record being equaled, um, 1.25 meters. So we'll keep you abreast of that. Uh, Charles F. Brooms, Miles Sutherland seems to be the one. Um, there are two athletes, Darren Topping from Charles F. Broom as well. So some good action over at the high jump. Okay, Michael Wilsby, uh, prepare to see the final of these three-time finals. Here we have in lane number one from Renault Weeks Primary, Amari Hade. In lane two from Welch's Primary, that is Cole Joe Franklin. Lane three from Grandy Prescott, Giovanni Smith. Lane four from Arthur Smith, Deshea Archer. Representing Erdison Special Unit in lane five is Cordio Lane. In lane six from All Saints Primary, Cezion Boyce. And out in lane number seven from Hillaby Turner's Hall, Jazav is called Joe Franklin. As they round the far turn. And Jazavi Hines of Hillaby Turner's Hall. He takes a look on his inside. He is in lane number seven. So competition coming through now from on the inside from Welch's primary. Cole Joe Franklin with just 50 meters to go. And it is Jazavi Hines coming through from Renovic's primary is Amari Head. It is Head and Hines. Head and Hines. Head. Head gets up. A Murray Head of Renovic's primary gets up on the inside to just snatch victory there from Jazavi Hines of Hillaby Turner's Hall. That completes the 400 meter range for the under 13 boys in the Pedia Shore Anton Norris zone. Yes, yeah, so again, action continues over at the high jump. What I'm hearing is. We have another record being established there, 1.30 meters. Um, so great competition over at the high jump. Coming up next will be the 300 meters for the under 13 girls, followed by the under 13 boys. So we are seeing a bit of the action at the high jump. Try to keep you abreast of everything that's happening so Natari in the boys 400 meters Devonte Green of the St. George Lions he had the record of 108.61 <laughs> and Natari Levine setting a new record his second for the day 103.69 so brilliant performance coming from Natari Levine of Hillaby Turner Hall. two records one in the eight, one in the four. Do you think he'll be running the two as well? We'll wait and see. I'll wait and see. But um, based on his form, uh, this guy is in definitely record-breaking form. Congratulations to him. Uh, again, Junior Seals must be over the moon. <laughs> I, I am still waiting to hear from the coach as we see here oh, the young man there from I think it's St. George Lyons at making his attempt there at the, at the high jump okay see if we can get his number if you can yeah, find the number the there you'll we'll be able to tell you exactly who it is there are two St. George Lyons Caleb Callender and Mackay Greenwich. Greenwich so we just have to see um, another competitor out there as well. I think this um, is from Bay Primary. From Bay Primary. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, 
that competitor from Bay Primary, there are two out there as well, Xavier Barker and Dominic Green. Mm. So a keen competition over at the High Jump for Boys Open, uh, 1.30 meters. That's the height that they're attempting right now. It's good. As we can see, the young ladies coming out for the 300 meters, yes. the under 11 girls, 300 meters. Mm -hmm. be getting so, ready to run so Levine will not be competing in any other events on the track individual I'm quite sure he'll be doing the the medley, medley. if they have a team he'll probably run the 200 or the 400 meter leg what a leg um, but so far he has two two victories um, so that's 20 points and he had eight points from the a field event mm -hmm. I believe that was either the ball throw or the shot put. Uh, but um, that looks like the ball looks throw. Like ball throw. Yes, yes, the ball throw. Now seeing the distance. Mm -hmm. The girls are off. This is the first of three sections under 11 girls, 300 meters. Aline from St. George in lane one. Shazaria Maycock of St. Mary's in two. Amaya Hunt of Trinity in four. Kishani Trotman of Bear Primary in lane 5. And she's looking good right now. Um, keep your eyes on Janaya Aline of St. George Primary on the inside. And Kishani Trotman of Bear Primary in 5. As they turn for home now on the inside, Janaya Aline of St. George. Good arm action. Legs going. Janaya Aline, the St. George Lions have something to roar about again. Compliments of Janaya Aline, St. George Primary, will finish this one in first. Kudos to Aline. Second will go to Kishani Trotman of Bay Primary. And <laughs> beaten on the line, Shaziria Maycock of St. Mary's finishing up in third. So that's it. There we see Janaya Aline, winner of the first section under 11 girls 300 meters the record here 49.85 seconds and this was established last year by kaya warner franklin mm -hmm. who ended up being the victory victory dorm our second section on the line already rakaila graves of Sela primary in lane number one in lane two natalia agard of elliot belgrave Lane number three, Hannah Cumberbatch of St. James Primary. In lane four, Sharice Boyce of Bay Primary. Lane number five, Talia Myers Ames of St. Margaret's. In lane number six, Cassidy Hinkson of St. Mary's. And on the outside from Charles F. Broom, Ija Bell. So they're off. Graves, Agard, Cumberbatch, Boyce, Myers, Ames, Hinkson, and Bell. And Bell is doing some running there out in lane number seven. She's opened a gap on the three behind her in four, five, and six. So, Ija Bell of Charles F. Broom, and she's going to be challenged by Sharice Boyce of Bear Primary there in lane number four as they turn for home. It's still Ija Bell of Charles F. Broom. All Bell. Getting a little weary. But still holding on. So Ija Bell of Charles F. Broom. She will take the second section. In second place, going to Boyce, Sharice Boyce of Bay Primary. We're moving with these 300 meters on the 11 girls. This is our third and final section coming up in the Pedialyte Marcia Trotman zone. Back at the high jump, those guys are attempting 1.33 meters now. <laughs> so, past the record and still going. Kudos to those lads.
Yes, Michael, and um, we take a look here. You can see it's a young man there from Charles, Charles F. Broome. Right? Yeah. Seven, um, six, seven, seven, one. That's one. Miles Sutherland. Yes. He's still in the competition. Okay. So that high jump continues, and we are getting ready to go back on track as well. So we are trying to cover both field and track, the only field event. Mm -hmm. being contested the high jump back on track here with the third and final section Amaya Blenman Nero of Charles F. Broom she's in lane one in two Amina King of Trinity Academy in lane three Nais Quesada of Beyond the Box don't see her there lane four Tiara Bailey of Sela Primary in six is Azaria Toppin of St. George and in lane seven Nichelle Cumberbatch of the Elliott Belgrave Primary School. So five going in this one. The St. George. Uh, St. George Azaria Primary. Topping. Azaria Topping. Wow. wow. <laughs> Blowing away the field early. Azaria Topping. She's looking good. 49.85 is the record. Remember that? Yes, this young lady, she's looking really impressive. Good form. Look at those arms. Textbook. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Almost textbook action. Oh my, Azaria Topping. She is looking really great. If she can mm. just keep the head. Mm. Yes, you can tell when the fatigue hits. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you can tell when it hits, but this she's Forms moving out. along. Azaria Topping of St. George. She's going to make it to the end. Azaria Topping, well done to her. Second place will go to... Amaya Blenman Nero of Charles F. Broom and third Tiara Bailey of Sela Primary. That's a very good, a very impressive run there by the young lady there, Michael. She, even though she was weary, she tried to go back to her form. Yes, and form. You form, always go back, back to, to that form. form. Yeah. Yes, and that will help you through. Just stay, stay relaxed. Don't panic. Don't tense up. Mm -hmm. And you just let that form bring you through. A great yeah. run there. Very good run. Yes, Azaria Topping. We'll look out for her. And we're moving on now to the first of the three-time finals in the. Anton North Zone in lane number two from St. Joseph Primary, Keyshawn Phillips Burke. Lane three from Renault Weeks Primary, Natara Callender. Lane four from Cuthbert Moore Primary, that is Davina Brathwaite. Lane five from Grandly Prescott Memorial, Rikishia Boyce. In lane six from All Saints Primary, that's Maya Herewood. And out in lane number seven from Arthur Smith Primary, Vanya Devonish. Six young ladies just waiting their queue to, to come on the starters' orders. You can see the officials, they already have all the athletes primed and ready to go. And they're off and running. Uh, Phillips Burke, Callender, Brathwaite, Boyce, Yearwood, and Devonish. From on the outside, from Arthur Smith Primary, it is Vanya Devonish. She's in front. Closing the stagger from All Saints Primary is Maya Yearwood. And these two, they're duking it out on the front end. But coming through on the inside from Renault Weeks Primary, looks like Natara Calendar. As they race with just about 100 meters to go. And it is in lane three. Coming with a run from Renault Weeks Primary, Natara Calendar. Maya Yearwood is still holding on tenaciously. But it is going to be from Renault Weeks, Natara Calendar gets home. From All Saints Primary, Maya Yearwood. And then in lane number four, it looks like from Grandy Prescott, Rikishia Boyce. Close the ground. That's the first of these time, time trials, time finals. Oh, we are moving.
moving on now to the second of these time finals. This is the second one here now. And we have in lane number two from Renault Weeks Primary, Kara Crick. Lane three from All Saints Primary, Amica Mangal. In lane four from Welch's Primary, Jashana Henry. Lane five from Hillaby Turner's Hall Primary, that is Lael Innes. Lane six from Deacon's Primary, Shamaya Granham. And in lane seven from Arthur Smith Primary, Kamara Garner. And they're off to a clean start. Crick, Mangal, Henry, Innes, Granham and Garner. And from Deacon's Primary, Shamaya Granham. But coming through on the inside from All Saints Primary, Amica Mangal. She's looking strong. She has some good form on her there. Amica Mangal of All Saints Primary. She's going to bring them into the final straight. She does so easily. From All Saints, Amica Mangal. She's going to put this field to bed she has about 20 meters on them she's going to win this one easily a micah mangle of all saints primary let's see who's going to run for second from arthur smith primary kamara garner she held on for the second position now we now we moving on now to the final section here now and we just acknowledging the crowd here and here we have the starters for the final of these time finals here in the under 11 girls 300 meters in lane number two from Deacon's Primary Azura Crick we saw Kyra Crick in the first one. Now we see Azura Crick. Lane three is Welch's from Welch's Primary, Haley Hood Worrell. Lane four from Hillaby Turner's Hall, Lauren Edwards. Lane five from Grandly Prescott Memorial, Adia Jones. Lane six from Cuthbert Moore Primary, Ariella Stout. And then lane seven from St. Joseph Primary, Tashana Grant. And they're off to a good clean start. And Oh, look at the young lady from Hill Hillaby Turner's Hall, Lauren Edwards. She just stepped past her competition as they go to the far turn, and she's just striding away. Oh, she's really, really running well. It is Lauren Edwards from Hillaby Turner's Hall Primary. She's bringing them into the straightaway, and she's striding away nicely. She's looking very confident. Lace is undone, just... Yeah, and she's just pumping easily. It is Lauren Edwards of Hillaby Turner's Hall. She should do it quite easily in the end. St. Joseph Primary is coming with a run also from Grandly Prescott with a run. But there's no doubt about your winner, Lauren Edwards, to win the final of the three-time finals in the under, under 11 girls 300 meters for the Pedia Shore. Anton Norris zone. Yeah, so we are moving along quite well. We are now at the 300 meters for the boys on the 11. Once these are done, then up next will be, if you look at the program, I think we should be going then into the 100 meters. I think we should be. Into yes, the we'll have our series of 100 meters coming up next. So, on the 11 boys, this is the first of three sections for the Pedialyte Marshall Trotman zone in lane two. Joshua Paris of Charles F. Broom. We saw him earlier. Trey Trotman of St. Mary's in two, in three. James Greenwich Trinity Academy in lane four, in lane five. Tanaz Deschamps of St. James Primary. In lane six, Boaz Van Ettinger from Beyond the Box. And in lane number seven, Kadesh Roach of the Elliott Belgrave Primary. 
their chase in a time of 50.33 seconds. That was established last year, the zone record by Wajay Topping of St. George Lions. So here we go. Paris, Trotman, Greenwich, Deshaun, Van Ettinger, and Roach. So tightly bunched here at this point. With the advantage seems to be Trey Trotman of St. Mary's Primary. Yes, Trey Trotman. And here comes Joshua Paris of Charles F. Broom. So it's Paris versus Trotman. As they come into the straightaway now, Joshua Paris of Charles F. Broom with the advantage. So it's all Paris. Paris is going to take that first section. Joshua Paris, the winner. Second will go to Trey Trotman of St. Mary's. And third place to James Greenwich of Trinity Academy. So section one of three done. Coming up in our second section. You'll see those guys shortly. Here we go. In lane one, Laszlo Stark of Beyond the Box. Lane number two, Dondre Jack of the St. George Primary School. Dondre Jack. And, and, and again, I must say, I'm very familiar with Dondre's granddad. Skull. <laughs> Skylar Green of Elliot Belgrave in lane three, Ramiro Rock of Sela Primary in four, Lanico Rayside of Charles F. Broom in five, Shakari Nash of Bear Primary in six, and in lane number seven, Amani Seely of St. Margaret's Primary. So here we go. Good start to the second section. Let's see how things will pan out for these guys. Uh, Shakari Nash of Bear Primary looking really good heading out there. Also from Charles F. Broom, Lanico Raysai. Those two running each other down. Raysai and Nash of Bear Primary. Now trying to get into the picture here. Dondre Jack of St. George. So our top two, Bay Primaries, Shakari Nash, Lanico Rayside of Charles F. Broom. He's going to finish in second. Nash wins it. Dondre Jack finishing up in third position. Under 11 boys, 300 meters. Lane number one, Rakai Gittins Dowridge of Bay Primary. Lane two, Damani Broom of Sela Primary. In lane three, Sheldon Thomas of St. James Primary. In lane four, Zion McLean of St. Margaret's. Lane five, Taihari Burgess of St. George Primary. Lane six, Ajali Scott Joseph of St. Mary's. And in lane number seven, Dante Carrington of Trinity Academy. This is the third and final section for the under 11 boys. 300 meters, Pedialyte Marcia Trotman zone.
on the starter's orders, third and final section on the 11 boys, 300 meters. This is the PDA Light Marcia Trotman zone. And they're off, okay, they ask to return. Not done as yet. Still room. Um, as we look into the stand here on the eastern side, it's not packed as we would have expected. Still lots of room in the stand. <laughs> Well, well, I really need to get out there because <laughs> I can tell you, I like the action. I like the heat and the action. So here we go. This is a good start this time around. And seeing the lad from St. George Primary, Tayari Burgess, trying to do some early running on the inside from Bear Primary, Rakai Gittins Dorridge. And from St. Margaret, Zion McLean in lane number four. He's looking really impressive right now. 150 meters to go. The Manny Broom of Sela Primary. Yes, there we go. In lane number two, the Manny Broom of Sela Primary. He's the leader. Broom of Sela. I know Michael Abu Worrell must be happy. Finishing up now. So that will do it. Top three. Well, I know that um, Michael Abu Worrell has been doing some work with those guys
number six, has been playing a rubber off of the and in the end of the seven, step on holder for Gilbert Ferry. In lane number four from Hillaby Turner's Hall Primary, Jaquil Small. Lane five from Cuthbert Moore Primary, Lowane Arthur. Lane six from Welch's Primary, Jamari Jordan. And in lane seven from Renovic's Primary, Zayden Pilgrim. Okay. The they're just being asked to stand again. Oh. I know the the participants there in the uh, the they're 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 very close to the stands and the stands here on the eastern end and I know the the, the spectators there with their horns and the symbols and so on can become a, a, a real distraction for these young men as they are in the pose and they're off and running. Brathwaite, Morgan, Clark, Small, Arthur, Jordan and Pilgrim. And looks like the young man from Reynolds Weeks Primary, Zayden Pilgrim. Gladiola Renault Weeks. Oh. Raptors. Oh, he's really pulling away. <laughs> Just got that information. Gladiola Renault Weeks Raptors. And he is looking to demolish this field. Coming through from Cuthbert Moore Primary. Lowane Arthur is in second. In third. In lane two from Deacon's primary, Emilio Morgan. But it is the young man, Zayden Pilgrim, wins it from, from Gladiola, Renault Weeks primary, Raptors. Wins it comfortably. Lowane Arthur of Cuthbert Moore primary in second. And it looks like Emilio Morgan from Deacon's primary in third. That wraps it up there for the... Under 11 boys, 300 meter dash in the Pedia Shore Anton Norris zone. Yes, Neil, so the action continues. And guess what's coming up? The 100 meters. We'll have the 100 meters in all the categories basically from 
the under 13s all the way to the under 9s 100 meter action but before we get to the hundreds we have another giveaway another giveaway so those of you who are viewing you can go to the Shafet IG page and the first person to write knapsack is unstoppable under the IG page where you will see Ambassador Mikey's visit to Shirley Chisholm Primary School. You will stand a chance to win a voucher compliments of Shafet. So you go to the Shafet IG page and you write knapsack is unstoppable under that IG post where Ambassador Mikey is paying a visit to the Shirley Chisholm Primary School. And for those persons who might be tuned in on the outside there at the Usain Bolt, well here at the Usain Bolt Sports Complex, please note to come. There's something special for you. So come tomorrow, come Friday, sorry, Wednesday and Thursday, losing track of time here. There's something special for you. Um, so just bear that in mind. Something special awaits you. Good. So we're ready to go with the under 13 girls 100 meters. We have some records going. Neil, Natari Levine, responsible for two of those records, the four and the eight. That's in his zone. We'll see how he will fare when he comes up against some of the other competition from the other zones yeah. come finals day. I'm trying to see if we can get some times, Michael, because I, I would really like to see those times. Oh, from, from the yesterday. others from yesterday. Yeah, compared. So we can compare. Yeah. I can't you know recall that? any records being broken yesterday, to be honest with mm -hmm. you. Um, so here we go with our first of three sections in the PDA Light Marcia Trotman zone. In lane number two, Raquel Seal of St. Mary's. She, there she goes, bib number 7883. In lane number three, Olivia Armstrong from Charles F. Broom. In lane number four, Rionce de Pisa of Sela Primary. I love her hairstyle. <laughs> In lane number five, Nakira Welch Hines of St. James Primary. In lane number six, Moisha Jean Philippe of the Elliot Belgrave Primary, and in lane number seven, Shataya Mears of St. Margaret's Primary. And they're chasing the Marcia Trotman zone record of 14.24 seconds, and that was established last year by Deshera Critchlow Grant from the Bay Primary School. So 1424, that's the time these young ladies will be looking to beat if they're serious about establishing a zone record so again seal of st mary's in two armstrong of charles f broom in three the pisa of seal primary in four well chines of st james primary in five jean philippe of elliot belgrave in six and mirrors of st margaret's in lane number seven Don't forget, if you are viewing, just let us know which country you are viewing from. Share the link with your friends. Unlike other streams, we don't have anything barred, so you can watch this stream from anywhere in the world. So... Share the, screen, share the stream with your friends. If you have a friend in Germany, they can watch it. Anyone in Australia, they might be sleeping at this time, but they can wake up and watch it. We are off and running here. First section, Seal Armstrong de Pisa looking good there on the inside is Raquel Seal of St. Mary's Primary. Raquel Seal, she runs away with this one. Second will go to Olivia Armstrong of Charles F. Broom. So... That was signed and sealed <laughs> by Raquel Seal of St. Mary's Primary. Good running there from her. 
think her coaches can do a bit more work with her um, strides, lift the legs, get those strides going, and she will be even better. Next section already on the line, section two. Edwards of Elliot Belgrave, Foster of Bay Primary, McAllister of St. Mary's, Holder Dixon of St. Margaret's, Holder of St. George, and Warner Franklin of Trinity Academy. Look, Warner Franklin. Watch Warner Franklin go. So it's all. Kaya Warner Franklin. She will finish up in first. Kyla Holder of St. George finishing up in second. That one went by really quickly. Uh, replay here. You can see that brilliant start from Kaya Warner Franklin of Trinity Academy. Great effort from Kyla Holder of St. George, but that one belonged to Warner Franklin. I'm getting ready for a third and final section here. Already on the line, on the 13 girls, Kiara Bayer of Bay Primary, Skyla Brooms of Sela, Laricia Ford Agard of Charles F. Broom. On the outside is Ijarika Moncter of St. George. She's large and in charge of this one. So Moncter is going to take this easy win for Moncter. And Ford Agard of Charles F. Broom will finish in second position. Here's your replay. So Marcia Trotman zone done and dusted as we get ready for the Pedia Shore Anton Norris zone. Good sportsmanship being seen here and these girls are off. The officials not playing at all today. Not playing. Looks here. Lane number five. That's Shamaya Weeks of Rena Weeks. Yes, living up to the name of the school. Doing the school well. Shamaya Weeks of Rena Weeks. Here's the replay of that one again. So it's all weeks. A good start. Maintaining her form. And weeks. Taking that one second. Going to Belgrave of Arthur Smith. Section two in lane number two. Jamelia Neblet Phillips. She's from Hillaby Turner's Hall. Lane number three. Nakela McCollin Hudson Kell of Grantley Prescott. Lane four. Chloe Broom of Welch's. Lane five. Janaya Benskin of Deacons. In lane six. Kamaya Thompson of Erdiston Special School. And in lane number seven. Amara Grant of St. Joseph Primary. Second of three sections in the Pediashore Anton Lovell, sorry, Anton Norris <laughs> zone. Anton Lovell, he's a basketballer. <laughs> Represented Barbados in basketball. So here we go. Off and running, pretty even at this time. Look out for Jamelia Neblet Phillips of Hillaby Turner's Hall being challenged by Amara Grant of St. Joseph. It's, oh, it's going to be uh, Jamelia Neblet Phillips of Hillaby Turner's Hall. She will be the winner, second to Amara Grant of St. Joseph Primary out in lane number seven. Seeing that replay. Just in case you stepped away for a moment and missed the race, you have the chance to see it. Here we go. So, Jamelia Neblet Phillips of Hillaby Turner's Hall taking that one. There she goes, 7345 on her chest. Section 3 coming up. Chantel Noel of Rental Weeks. She'll be in lane two in three, Brianna Rollins of Deacons. We saw Brianna competing before, doing well. Annalise Lowe from Cuthbert Moore in four. Mackenzie Goddard of Welges, and they're off and running. Najada Phillips of All Saints. And on the outside, Zakiah Proverbs of Arthur Smith. So those two will be going at it. Proverbs and Phillips. Phillips and Proverbs. 
Phillips will take it. Najada Phillips of All Saints Primary. She will take the under 13 girls 100 meters. And that's in the Anton Norris zone. Done and dusted. So we get ready for the under 13 boys coming up. And of course, we will begin with the Pedialyte Marcia Trotman zone. Don't forget your opportunity to win some prizes. Compliments of our sponsors. We're ready for the under 13 boys first section. Delano Peters of Sela Primary in lane two. In lane three, Kimario Hardin of Elliot Belgrave. Lane four, Azari Jemont of St. James. Lane five, Shamani Hurdle of St. Margaret's. Lane six, Jasser Moore of St. Mary's. And lane seven, Rivaldo Weeks of St. George Primary. They are off and running. Keeping our eyes on Moore of St. Mary's. Jasser Moore of St. Mary's. He is head and shoulders above everyone. Moore of St. Mary's, an easy winner there. Weeks of St. George will have to settle for that second spot. And from the get-go, we saw Moore. Moore all the way to the finish. No stopping Moore. Weeks of St. George in second. Second section on the line. Brennan Husbands of Trinity Academy in two. Ronaldo Stewart St. James in three. In lane four, Xavier Barker of Bay Primary. Lane five, Joshua Williams of Elliot Belgrave. In lane number six, Makai Greenwich of St. George. And in lane number seven, Ethan Linton of Charles F. Broom. They're off and running, a slip there from Williams of Elliot Belgrave. The others are off. Greenwich of St. George. Yes, he's holding on, and he will hold on, take the victory there. Mackay Greenwich of St. George Primary. The Lions have roared once more. The under 13 boys continues the Pedialyte Marcia Trotman zone. Just a replay there having some difficulty. The lad from Elliot Belgrave, that's Joshua Williams. But it was all Mackay Greenwich of St. George Primary taking that one. Under 13 boys, 100 meters, third and final section coming up. And these are really going quickly. Seeing the lads posing for a photo. Here we go in lane two, Antonio Seeley of St. Margaret's. Lane three, Kamani Dare of St. Mary's. Lane number four, Marquez Broom of Sela. In five, Justin Walters of Bay Primary. There in lane six, Aaron Brathwaite of Trinity Academy. And T.N. Bostick of Charles F. Broom. This is the final section for the Marcia Trotman Zone. Compliments of Pedialyte. Thirteen eighty-two, the time to beat. Off and running. Thirteen eighty-two, the zone record. Seeing this lad here in lane number five, that's Walters of Bay Primary. Walters of Bay Primary. Can Walters hold on for the win? Walters will get it. Justin Walters of Bay Primary taking the third and final section of the Pedialyte Marcia Trotman zone. Just a replay of that one. Yes, Michael, as we know, preparing to prepare out for the under 13 boys in the PDF Shore Anton North Zone. In lane number one from Grand Prescott Memorial, DeAndre Seeley. Lane two from Erdiston Special School, Cordial Lane. Lane three from All Saints Primary, Jelani Seeley. Lane four is empty. Lane five from 
Welch's primary is not there. Lane six from Hillaby Turner's Hall, Jaheem Springer. And in lane seven from all from Arthur Smith Primary, the Shea Archer. And they're off and running. And it's a good clean start out in lane seven Arthur, from Arthur Smith, the Shea Archer. But it is going to be very close. Lane three from Erdison Special School, Cody Lane came through on the inside just to snatch this one in the final exchanges Cordio Lane of Erdiston Special School ran his heart out came through just when there from Jelani Seely of All Saints Primary to into second position Moving on now to the second of these time finals in lane number two from Welch's Primary. It's not here. We have in lane three to Shane Watts of St. Joseph Primary. More of Deacon's Primary in lane four. Lane five from Arthur Smith is Roche Payne. Lane six from Cuthbert Moore Primary. It is Amal Brown Headley. And in lane seven from Reno Weeks Primary, Amari Head. And Looks like on the outside, a Murray head, but here comes storming through in lane number five from Arthur Smith Primary, Rache Payne. Rache Payne, victorious. As we take a look at the replay, it is Rache Payne of Arthur Smith Primary pumping away. Had some stiff competition from a Murray head, but he shook him off with just about 20 meters to go. Rache Payne, victorious. <clears throat> now we're ready now for the final heat in this, the Anton Norris zone. And it's in lane number one from Reno Beach Primary, Nathan Gaskin. Lane two from All Saints Primary, Amar Curtin Phillips. We saw him a little earlier. Lane three from St. Joseph Primary, Josiah Lane. Lane four from Deacon's Primary, Tyreek Pyle. In lane five, from Erdison Special School, Anderson Sandiford, lane six, representing Cuthbert Moore Primary, Kristen Hackett, lane seven, from Hillaby Turner's Hall, Jari Maynard, and in lane number eight, from Grandly Prescott Memorial, Zuriel Seeley. They're on the starter's orders. And they're off to a good clean start. Let's see what's going to happen here. Amar. Curtin Phillips, we saw him earlier winning the 400 meters it was. And he's going to come back here and he's going to repeat easily. It's Amar Curtin Phillips from All Saints Primary. Victorious there as we take a look at the replay. Already there. He's there crouched waiting and he stormed out into his dry phase. Arms pumping away, and it was all over by the shouting. Just 40 meters to go. It was Omar, he won that easily. Second was in lane five. As we move on now to the under 11s in the PDA light, where's the Trotman zone? And already, there, this is the young ladies in the under 11s. We have from Sela Primary. Tiara Bailey, lane two, lane three from St. George Primary, Azari Topping, lane four from Charles F. Broom, Naya Shifun, lane five from St. Margaret's Primary, Faraji Banfield, Calendar from St. Mary's in lane six, and Trinity Waldron from Elliot Belgrave. But it is early on, it is Azaria Topping of St. George Primary storming away from this field, wins it impressively. Second from in lane two, Azaria. Um, Tiara Bailey of Sela Primary but here even in her walk <laughs> we can see Azaria Topping she came with a mission as we take a look at the replay she just stormed away from them early and made her stamp early on and destroyed the field she won it convincingly <clears throat> Let's go now to the second of these time finals in lane two from St. Mary's Primary, Rakira Aline Hinkson. 
in lane two. So we can see now we can have they're just waiting for them to in lane three from St. Margaret's Primary, Kaya Mon. Lane four from Trinity Academy. It's Amaya Hunt. And we go down to in Bay in lane number seven from Bay Primary. Kaila Atkins. We only have four athletes here going. In the second of these time finals. And they're off and running. Oh, some bouncing. Oh, the young lady there from St. Mark from St. Margaret's came right across. Oh. It's from Bay Primary, Kyla Atkins. She's not involved. And they ran all over there just now. Oh, it looks like the young lady from St. Mary's. She just ran straight over. There we see the replay. Yes, there we go. The young lady there in lane two. And she just came right across and impeded there the young lady from St. Margaret's and from Trinity. So we'll, we'll see how that one will peter out. So we are now moving on to the third of these time finals. Already on the track from Bay Primary, Kishani Trotman, Lane 3 from Trinity Academy, Amina King, Lane 4 from Charles F. Broom, Natalia Hendricks, in Lane 5 from Sela Primary, Young Jarrett, Aline from St. George Primary, and Bradshaw, Anya George, Bradshaw from St. James Primary. But it is going to be in lane two, followed by lane six and lane seven. So lane two. So Bay Primary's Kishani Trotman winning there. Getting ahead of the young lady Janaya Aline from St. George Primary and Anaya Bradshaw of St. James Primary. As we take a look at the replay here. That is the... That's it there for the... Oh, ladies, they're running in the under 11 girls from the Pedia Light Marcia Trotman zone. Now we're ready for the Pedia Shore Anton Norris zone, and they're really moving quickly in lane number two from St. Joseph Primary. That is Shaquilla Bootman Maynard, hurdle of Reynolds Weeks in lane three. Mangle, we saw her early in the 400 from All Saints. Lane 5 from Grantley Prescott and Isla Brathwick. Lane 6, Taylor from Cuthbert Moore Primary. And then Lane 7 from Arthur Smith Primary, Vanya Devonish. The under 11 girls, 100 meters. As our starter heads and the spectators here in the western side to tone it down a bit. And they're off and running. The Nisha Hurdle of Renault Weeks got a flyer. And on her outside, here comes a Micah Mangal of All Saints Primary. And they're duking it out. But a young Mangal, a Micah Mangal from All Saints Primary prevails. And she wins this one from the Nisha Hurdle of Renault Weeks. And that's, let me give them the title Gladiola Renault Weeks Primary Raptors. Yes, and uh, she ran through well to be second. We're moving on now to the second of these time finals. In lane two, from Cuthbert Moore Primary, Ariella Stout. Lane three, from Renault Weeks Primary, Kalia Bostick. Lane four, from Welch's Primary, Serena Monchery. In lane five, from Hillaby Turner's Hall, Lahel Lahil Innes. Lane six, from All Saints Primary, Lily Rose Yearwood. And in lane number seven from Deacon's Primary, Maya Griffith. And they're off and running. And from All Saints Primary, Lily Rose Yearwood. She's getting some competition from Kalia Bostick. Here's the wire. And it looks very, very close there between Lily Rose Yearwood and Kalia Bostick. And very, very tight there. We'll leave that one up to the judges. It was very tight in the end. 
with his Lily Rose Yearwood of All Saints Primary and Kalia Bostic of Reynolds Weeks Primary. As we take a look at the replay, we can see from All Saints Lily Rose Yearwood, she armed, she has her arms pumping away. The form of young Kalia Bostic there driving her to the wire. She was very, very, was very, very close in the end. On to the final heat. Garner of Arthur Smith Primary from Hillaby Turner's Hall Edwards in lane three. Lane four, Shania Granham of Deacon's Primary. Jones of Grandy Prescott in lane five. And then we have Mayors of St. Joseph Primary in lane six. And lane seven, Miracle Redmond of Welch's Primary. But it is from lane three, Lauren Edwards was victorious there to complete the under 11 girls 100 meters dash there in the pedia shore anton norris zone as we take a look at the replay we can see lauren edwards they're just striding away from her field and she was very easy in the end now we're moving back now to the under 11 boys in the pedia light Marcia Trotman zone in lane two from St. Mary's Primary, Naeem Taylor in lane three from St. Margaret's Primary, Ashaniko Ennis Miller, lane four from St. James Primary, Kamal Green, lane five, Tariq Wilkinson from Bay Primary, and in lane six from Beyond the Bots Education, looks like Laszlo Stark, and in lane seven from Sela Primary, Raquan Yearwood. As they thunder down the track, it is Tyreek Wilkinson of Bay Primary. Bay Primary celebrating here with Tyreek Wilkinson. Victorious here in the first of these three-time finals. <laughs> yes, as we take a look here at the replay. <laughs> Young Tyreek Wilkinson of Bay Primary striding away. Made this look very easy in the end. Second, very tight there. By Naeem Taylor of St. Mary's Primary. We're moving now on to the second of these time finals. And we have here with us in lane one from Charles F. Broom, Jace McLean. Lane two from St. James Primary, Jamon Daniel. Lane three from St. Margaret's Primary. That is Thierry Spencer. Lane four, Jaden Watson from Elliott Belgrave Primary. Lane five from Trinity Academy, Dante Carrington. Lane six from St. George Primary, Dondre Jack. And then lane seven from Sela Primary, the Manny Broom. On the starter's orders. And away they go. And that's a pretty level beginning. You can see running very well in lane number seven. It is from Sela Primary, Damani Broom. And in lane one, coming through in lane number one. Oh, that was very, very tight there with the young man there from Charles F. Broom. That's a very tight finish there. And uh, these young men, uh, they're moving on very quickly here. They are officials having them really on time this afternoon in lane number one for the third of these time finals for representing Trinity Academy is James Greenwich. Lane two from Charles F. Broom, Joshua Paris. Lane three, we find from Bay Primary, that is Shakari Nash. For lane four from St. George Primary, Aidan Yard. Lane five from St. Mary's Primary, Neymar Walton. Lane six, we find Kadish Roach from Elliott Belgrave Primary. And in lane seven from Beyond the Box, Boaz Van Ettinger. 100 meters under 11 boys.
and the racing. And that's a pretty level beginning. Neymar Walton of St. Mary's got a good start. But powering through on the inside from Bay Primary, Shakari Nash. It is Sir Kerry Nash in the 100 meter dash in lane three coming through to be victorious in the third of these time finals for the Pedialyte Marcia Trotman zone. We are moving on now to the young men here to participate in the first of the time finals for the PDA Shore and to Norris Zone. In lane two from okay, so we have to get this refreshed. We're looking here for the young men from the This is the just waiting here. And the 11 boys. Oh, that's a start there. Looks like the young man from Reynolds Weeks Primary. Also from All Saints Primary is running well. Deacons Primary is in third. That is from team from Reynolds Weeks. Reynolds Weeks and All Saints. Very, very, very close. From Reynolds Weeks Primary. Athlete 7434. That is Zadon Pilgrim of Renault Weeks Primary. He was victorious there. Second was Chiron Harris of All Saints Primary. As we get ready now for the second of these time finals. <laughs> As Michael was saying they're making no sport here. <laughs> In lane number one from All Saints Primary, Taden Payne of All Saints. In lane two from St. Joseph Primary, Stephen Holder. Lane three we find from Arthur Smith, Malachi Clark. Hillaby Turner's Hall is being represented by J. Blenman in lane four. Deacon's Primary, J. Sean Howell in lane five. Lane six from Welch's Primary, Jamari Jordan. And in lane seven from Cuthbert Moore Primary, Tyree St. Clair. And it is a clean start. We can see this young man from Deacon's just Sean Howell, but coming through on the inside it was very close there between J. Sean Howell of Deacon's Primary and Stefan Holder from St. Joseph Primary. But it seems as though I guess the officials will have to take another look at that one. Um, let's see if anyone may have impeded someone there on that. And we're going to have now our final heat in this, the Anton Norris zone for the under 11 boys. In lane one, the Javante Odell from Hillary Turner's Hall, holder of St. Joseph Primary in lane two. Eastman of Erdison Special School in lane three. Bell from Grand Prescott Memorial in lane four. Hinkson of Welch's Primary in five. Best from Renault Weeks Primary in lane six. And Bell Curtin of Cuthbert Moore Primary in lane number seven. 100 meters under 11 boys. Under starter's orders. Just being instructed to stand. Now they go down again. And they're off and running. Javante Odo of Hillaby Turner's Hall popped away smartly, but also running well from Renault Weeks Primary. Ethan Bess. Ethan Bess is much the best. Wins it convincingly in the end. Ethan Bess. Yeah, athlete 7 4 1 8. Let's look at his reaction time there. That's very good. He's Arms are pumping away, and he knew from about four, about 50 meters, he had it in the bag. Wins it now, running against the time second. It was very tight between the young man, Javante Odell of Hillaby Turner's Hall, and Kimari Holder of St. Joseph Primary. 
That completes the PDA Shore Anton Norris zone. As now the officials are going to place some markers, some cones there for the PDA Light Marcia Trotman zone. And we are going to have the under nines. It's their turn. The under nine girls. And we can see these young ladies coming on the track momentarily. Well, Neil, we have some results here. They're going to be scattered all over the place. Yeah. But nevertheless, the 600 meters for girls in the Anton Norris zone. The winner was Janae Belgrave of Arthur Smith. One minute 57.71. That's a good time. Very good time. And I can tell you. Looking at the 600 meters, anything on the two minutes, That's those good. athletes will definitely have a shot at being in the top 12 That's for fine. the final. I think we had about four, about four from, yeah. from the meet yesterday, yesterday. Mm. from that zone who advanced, well, who had times under two minutes. Um, Azalea Derrick of Hillaby Turner's Hall, she was second, 2.10.67. Nakaya Kadogan of All Saints, she was third, 2.12.73. In the boys, 800 meters in the Anton Norris zone, Natari Levine, of course, the winner with a new record, 2.31.67. Second was Amir Curtin Phillips of All Saints, 2 minutes 38.30. And third, Deshea Archer of Arthur Smith Primary, 2 minutes 41.71. The 400 meters... Under 13s, girls in the Anton Norris zone, Akira Applewaite from Randall Weeks, 1 minute 12.77. Symphony Goddard Grant of Cuthbert Moore, 1 minute 15.18. And third, Brianna Rollins of Deacon's Primary, 1 minute 15.39. In the under 7 boys, 50 meter dash, Anton Norris zone, Amani Ford of Deacon's, 9.83. Jerome Bovell of Deacons, 9.89. Giovanni Lucas Hemmings of Renault Weeks, 9.89 seconds. And the under nine boys, 80 meter dash, Anton Norris zone. Kevon Roach from All Saints, 13.00 seconds. Shakari Aline of Renault Weeks, 13.38 seconds. And third, Shaquan Thomas of Hillaby Turner Hall Primary, 13.54 seconds. So those are some of the results coming from this morning's action in the Anton Norris zone. I think you have some here now from the Marcia Trotman zone that you can do quickly before we get into the um, under nines. Oh yes, definitely. Um, we have here in the 400 meters for the under 13 girls. Here winning this one was Kava Warner Franklin from Trinity Academy in a time of 106. Um, second from St. George Primary it was Ijarika Mounter from St. George Primary. Third from St. George Primary also was Serena Hope in a time of 1 minute 12.97. And in fourth, Larissa Ford Agard of Charles F. Broom. And they would have been the top four in the under 13 girls, 400 meters. But presently on the track, we have the under nine girls being shown by the officials how they're supposed to run and make sure that they run in their lanes. In lane two from Elliott Belgrave Primary, Jamara Boyce. In lane two, lane three from Trinity Academy, Josiah Greenwich. In lane number four from St. James Primary, Az Azara Alin. And out in lane number five from St. Mary's Primary, Raquana Mason, it looks like. All right, so the <laughs> yes, they're showing them. Yeah, you see, they're following. They, they're following the, the 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 lanes. You know, they they're looking at the. They're not looking at the markers, and that is the the, the thing. The young the young lady there from St. James Primary in lane four. 
Azara Aleen. They're just trying to show her. And they're, they're, they're confused by the, well, the, with the bend, the, 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 the lanes coming off the bend there. So in her mind, she's going to follow the bend and not looking to go straight. There we see the chief just trying to show her where to go, telling her to, yep, don't look down, just look straight ahead. And it's, these, these cones are put down here, especially for these young ones, as a, as a developmental um, tool to help them to go forward here. In, um, well, the thing is, it's a lot better than when we had the blue and yellow lanes. Oh, yes. Those oh, blue yes. and yellow lanes confused these under nines. But we'll see how they will fare. So this is the first section, Neil. Yes, it is. Only first four going in here. Trinity Academy, Josiah Greenwich, and is this it? Yes, it is. We have the young lady there for Trinity Academy, Josiah Greenwich. She's in oh, front, yes. large and in charge. Yes. She wins it comfortably in the end. Second was from the young lady from St. Mary's Primary, Raquana Mason. Oh, yes. Yeah. So, um, as you said, they will develop. It will take a little time for them to um, get used to running straight, staying in their lanes. And this is this is what I love about um, Knapsack. You know, we can see how they develop from these under from the under sevens, and they come up the under nine, under eleven, under thirteen. I'm sure some of these will look back and say, "I remember when." <laughs> And we can very well find a, a, a new, uh, the birth of a new track star coming through the Knapsack and, and, and moving and on into <clears throat> B-Sack. And we've seen many of them over the years. Oh, you can yes. just call the names and and you can track their progress yes. through through Knapsack, through B-Sack, on to C-U-T Games, yes, Carifta, and, and you name it. 7932, that's Kiana Moore of Sela Primary. <laughs> she looks ready. <laughs> In lane number three, actually she's in, she's supposed to be in lane one. <laughs> in lane two, Soraya White Ford of St. Mary's. In lane number three, Akela Bend of Elliot Belgrave. In four, Shekenya Boxel Jordan of Bay Primary. Lane five, Khaleesi Marshall of Charles F. Broom. Lane six, Blick Stark of Beyond the Box. And in lane number seven, Skyla Moore of St. George Primary. So I think the officials have to make sure that they're in the correct lanes. Yeah. From what we are seeing here, it should be one to seven. Yeah, we have them two to eight. Mm -hmm. I think they're shifting them over now. There you go. Mm -hmm. And it's important when we come to the photo finish and electronic timing. It's important. Yes. You have some results there for us, Neil? Yes, we have some results here, Michael. Um, we have the, in the under, under 13 girls um, in third position with from St. George Primary, Serena Hope. In second position, also from St. George Primary, Isaac Rika Monta. In second position and victorious in a new record of 1.06 from Trinity Academy, Kevia Warner Franklin. Congratulations to her. So she continues to be impressive. Mm -hmm. um, 10600. Mm -hmm. Not bad at all. It's very good time there. She, the record for the zone was 108 and she ran 106. So yes, she ran very well there. Also going on there, in, um, in the under the girls open meeting, third position, Second go to Keith Moore, the primary. 
So at least first you take in second section. Thank you. 